na 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 of the national security as well and these gentlemen said to be from the national security were you told why they were present no we were not told why they were present but they were not they, I may have to add here that they were ordinarily clothed and they were not armed there are reports of persons purported to have come from the national security who were actually armed at some police stations. Are you aware of that? Not at all. From the reports we have received from our field officers who were monitoring, there were no armed security personnel at any of the 137 polling stations. There are also reports of intimidating presence of certain masked men in black and brown uniform who were wielding arms in some of the polling stations. Are you aware? There were no, no masked men who were wielding arms in any of the 137 polling stations. All our reports that have come in and the monitors who have monitored, including members of the commission, did not identify any of these armed masked men at any of the 137 police stations. Are you saying that you have actually investigated and you can confirm that yes. of the truth, there were no masked men at any of the police stations? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Now, you said you have cited the Kodeo report. Yes. That report makes it very clear that there were masked armed men at some polling stations. What do you have to say about that? I still stand by you know, the reports we have received that there were no masked armed men at any of the polling stations. And I can say that, yeah, I, I, can, I can butterize my, my point to say that uh, former President Mahama has been rotting in the corruption to the core, you know, and now he's alive. This, this, this is why, you know, and even still he has been corrupted or still uh, or done something bad to the country. He don't want to say it. He don't want to explain it to to the country, you know. He thinks, you know, uh, uh, but it wasn't like that. Some of the head of states, like you, has been has been killed. You know, he has been killed for us, you know, for the country to grow to this level, for the genesis of our democracy, you know, for the for, for the genesis of our democracy <laughs> uh, from a. FRC to Ted, uh, 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 Ted Republic, Ted Republic. You know, from uh, PNDC to Fourth Republic. It's a really you know. Now we are stable. Oh my God! We are stable as in a democratic or. Unkwa siyafu pa ma Jimmy and people for Jimmy me who be stupid people. I don't know why I belong to that political party. Unkwa siyafu pa. My Jimmy and people for Jimmy, me who be stupid people. I don't know why I belong to that political party. As leader of the NDC, I wish to serve notice that we shall do all our part to ensure that our country remains peaceful and that the electoral process proceeds smoothly. But 
and a big bat. Let nobody assume that we will accept the results of a flawed election. Talents Radio and TV Network. My name is Kevin Ekobe Taylor. This is the extended version of Without Your Respect on Loud Talents Radio and TV Network. Good afternoon to everyone. Good evening. Good morning. Um, this is the show you have to be listening to now. Yes. Here, um, we don't mince words. Here, we separate facts from noise. This is where you have to be. Tell a friend that Kevin Taylor and the Ghost Team, we are live. We're talking about Ghana. We're talking about politics, social issues, and what have you. Today is a packed show. Trust me. Today is a packed show. So we're going to be moving very fast. We're going to be taking care of issues quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, we have a few topics to handle today or to take care of today. Um, we'll be going um, to Obuasi to um, talk to our reporter in Obuasi to tell us what's happening. Um, the news coming in is that um, Galamse has been brought home. You know, it is home now. Like people step out of their rooms. Galamse is happening just at their for, for, uh, doorstep by some Chinese. We'll be talking to our reporter in Obuasi live, and then he'll be giving us um, the rundown. If Galastop knows about it, if the DC, the MC, the minister, um, the MPs in Obuasi East and also West, if they know anything about that issue happening now. Uh, we will also be reading to you a letter or an investigation done by Galastop after they visited that area. Who is behind the Chinese person? And what's the name of the Chinese and the person? We'll be mentioning names and going straight to the issues today. We have some top something to talk about. We'll be talking about um yesterday. If you watch with all due respect, yes, I, I released an uh, an episode on how multimedia destroyed um Dr. Opony. I'll be elaborating a little bit on that. It's not actually about Dr. Opony. We I will be talking on um the 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 the, the, the relevance or the importance of journalism in, in, in this year's elections because all these things we've seen, the court issues, how Dr. Pony is in court, in and out, a few people went to court. I just want to let Ghanaians understand, are we going to have or see or experience the same kind of um, journalism atmosphere or, um, or, or, or whether we experienced in 2015-16 where we had or we saw a lot of misinformation put out in the system. That's the main reason why today I've decided to speak on this Dr. Pony issue. But it's not specifically about Dr. Pony. It's about journalism in Ghana. When they report... Are they reporting the fact? Are they um, the, the the people helping us or they are destroying we the people? So today's topic is quite broad. We we'll also be talking about um the NDC manifest um the NDC Green Book. The NDC they've been making um, noise of late. Yes, they've been making so much noise. Today, um, too, they made a lot of noise. Um, do they have facts? Why are they so confident that their green book is so solid and that the government in power, um, led by Nanado Dan Kwekufuado, they cannot they cannot contest the Green Book because they keep telling Ghanaians that everything in the Green Book, which I have here, is factual. Today, we will be taking our time to spend two minutes on one of the topics and see if it is real factual. So there are a lot of things we'll be talking about today on this show. Um, we're talking about the Green Book. How factual is it? Do they have the things they're talking about actually on the ground? This is the show you have to tell a friend to tell a friend. Kevin Taylor and the team are live. This is Loud Silence Radio and TV in Network. And the show is, with all due respect, extended version. And I can say that, yeah, I, I, can, I can batterize my, my point to say that uh, former President Mahama has been rotting in the corruption to the core. You know, and now he's alive. This, this, this is why, you know, and even still he has been corrupted or still uh, or done something bad to the country. He don't want to say it. He don't want to explain it to to the country. You know, he thinks, you know, uh, uh, but it wasn't like that. Some of the head of states like you has been has been killed. You know, he has been killed for us, you know, for the country to grow to this level. For the genesis... All right, welcome back to the show. Today, I kept, uh, I told you that we, we, we're doing business straightforward. I would like to say good evening, good afternoon. Um, the family, uh, everybody's excited on Facebook. I would do the greetings 
Um, the first segment of this show is supposed to be greetings. I'm supposed to say hello to the family. I'm on Facebook, on YouTube, on Periscope, on Instagram, on Twitter, everywhere. But today is a packed show. The family understands. We're doing business, straight to business. So if you're on Facebook, I'd like to say hello, family. Hello to everybody. If you're on um, YouTube, hello. Um, if this is your first time watching this show, remember that this show is streaming on 27 different platforms, four solid platforms that are the strongest platforms. Two on Facebook. Look for Loud Silence Radio and TV Network on Facebook. And also the same Facebook, look for With All Due Respect Extended Version. With All Due Respect Extended Version. Go on YouTube. Look for With All Due Respect. That's where we stream it live on YouTube. Hello, um, the family on YouTube. And also look for us on um, With All Due Respect on um, Twitter. With All Due Respect on Twitter. And also on Periscope Louds um, With All Due Respect. Um, Yes, lots and lots of things. I'm trying to rush through um, this. We're going to pick a report straight from Abuasi. We have our uh, um, um, Ashanti region correspondent. Um, actually, he's based in Obwasi. His name is Piero One. Um, he, we're going to be talking to him about the happenings in Obwasi today, specifically in Obwasi East, where um, Galamse has come home. Galamse has come home. Today, people step out of their rooms and they see Galamse happening right in front of their doorstep. In fact, let me show you a clip of what is happening in Obwasi today. And after that, we will talk to the gentleman. All the rivers are destroyed. Assassin, I say, Shimosha Assassin, Abusko, if you're a pound, may I tell you what I say, Assassin? Oh, Ghana, I will still have a future. So you tell my channel of which maybe say as I see say ya. The jai at war no. I'm with you. You know what I say no so. So, I they have ministers. I they have MP in this area. See, they are working hard. They are working hard. They are destroying. They don't care, they don't feel sad for the nation. Look at the river look like right now. See, you can't get a place to go. I mean, it's very short distance from other side to other side. But you see, because of the they destroyed the land, unless you pass through the main street and you can even come to your house. Honorable DC. Of Abuasi East. I mean, are you patriotic? Are you obedient to the government? Because this is not a small site, oh. It's a very big site. It's a very big site. Everything is destroying. Everything is destroying. Nobody wants to talk. Because some people have interest in this Kalamse. We are supposed to sell all our properties to Chinese. Look at the big lands. The lands are already destroyed. Everything. They are working taller street. They are working taller street. Very big city like Acapulco, Abusco. About 500 acres. I'd be destroying by Galamse. It's very sad. All right, so, so this video um, is actually from somebody who decided to film. Um, um, the Galamse is actually happening in front of his house, and he sent it to our reporter for our reporter to also push the uh, video to us. So uh, pardon us um, um, with the commentary behind. It might not be the perfect English you were expecting to hear, but at least um, the point was made. Um, so before we go to our social media segment, I would like us to take care of this issue quickly before we move ahead, because we need to know what Galamse, Gala Stop is doing what the MC, the DC, and people of Obuasi are doing. Hello, uh, hello, um, Piero. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello, um, good evening. Yes, sir. um, uh, I know, sir, uh, everybody's doing great. Obia, oh, Obuasi. Sure, sure. Maybe the catch here will see for no ship when Obuasi will be a way. COVID 19, so we'll be a way. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so, um, the video now, if you see, I know a video, um, uh, reporter in Yawa Hana HSA, uh, Galam said the first name, say Galam said, yes, you in room, you know, cocoa farms in room now, uh, say be a Chinese for the bar, and I say, oh, mom, we are Galam say, no, I'm a bar, I'm co room with 
heavy heavy equipment no mako to as uh, 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 say good you know but um the reason why i am i'm a me my file report which i say gal i'm saying i be drufi i be drufi just saying kofo be on gate and noah cbi a share report who say in fear if you see it see what you say it doesn't look like saying room no more gal i'm saying i just say abyssy and um mm. i was supposed to show one um river but yes it is my 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 picture no what is happening no boase galam say no adan you see if you na wona hwana mo na e she chira se ya galam say there ya nyane wure mu biem ya de abedru fie me da say me da tell him dey can and make here with people no ahwe fo na e me say so oba boase ya opia woni boase ba no ya obronu bi ya fere na abusko e me bi etwe mu kra no mpenifu o mo boase e ye say o mo de one hotel e won e be Isolation center, oh, what is that? Brown or so no. A once now, Galam say no air cotto, I mean, I walk at the CA. M. Z. A mere chairman of Senior Dick and Kana Galam Senior, yeah, yes, Senior, yeah, a wound rim, Nancy, that's a rare, a de excavator. A baby see Mantema and Nipati. And yes, a Mantemino, a in rim baby, be here, Nipati, this two on my own, and an excavator, and this one a washing machine, and this two are a yes, China, near a friend of. We and we, it's a gun in the city. Emma Omu Yedmano. It is Nipandi video in the Sunday, and on May, call Kaka, and who say, Many Penina or say it's in a gun in a friend of Miss Eric who put me in common. A summer or kind and say, A yet assembly in a man is to me, say, on Yedmano. And besides, a way of concess, Nana, or Sunday, you bit my academy and say, Assembly, a year, what is assembly? This year, a friend of Honorable Fostina, a missa, on any state, one man is out to me, no, our day. Now, but of what it is in so as to be a gun of when I saw a bassy being if I come and like a farmer, to me move for and see it to a bedi, Honorable Patrick Watiado. Me be the same to say, on all three away. Nadia, Nipane can the same thing for the Escavitano, and yet idea of this media to put him a dear rabbit, a idea a bump in four hour, one best of his year for Sibiano. Mimi de Mitsu, na minim se, Mitsu na minim se, in penny four, ay away. Okay, penny four, ay away. Eh, Ero, a Okasan Oka, Obo, um, Chinese, Nini Ding, Way, Han Way, or Nuna, or de, um, way machines, Abigua, or ye, Galamse, no, na, Obian, Mr. Galamse, no, so de, um, Sibia, and Branditiano, Obia, a uh, foreigner, and I say, uh, 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 uh mindful for soon into me, Bagana, and Bajal license, and Galamse, and I be be a chair, Timamuni. Be a dinner name. Uh, Obo, man, be this friend Eric Opoku. Ah, uh, um, in your report before you come live, and also a Methodist deacon or no, and now only the dean come on. Uh, now, Mr. Eric Opoku, no, only the dean come on. Ubu san, oh my, oh, 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 can, oh, my, oh, yes, yes, a bia, oh, my, oh, certification, and I say, oh, my, oh, crat, ah, a trust, a was say, oh, my, too, galamsin, oh, fierce, because they, they are master way dangerous, and say, baby, oh, my, too, galamsin, no. In sure, a warning and sudden, you say, and I will fear in the chemicals be our Maria Galamseno, where the young room there, I can say be a betcha crack, but a fear pot, a pot, see, no more there by any time person who say, Mr. Ricopoco, at least, or Mautia, see, I say, be a Chinese for no, a war documentation, say, trust, a awesome bear Galamseno, a will fear, sir. And your kind, and you say, assembly, a what is district assembly, and I am money to me, say, when you I have evidence. To prove that, say assembly in our man is to me, say on ye. And I answer an assembly in Subemo to me, the Natchez and Crata, some of the Ubia, Ubit Media, Nadia, Ubia, the Bissan, say, the ancient assembly, Bemanize, the amount for Kanze, or mobile nominate a community mining, Intin Omoyan was our community, no. But community mining, our Moyan Suna, Sibin Pediata, a Nipa Bako for, and a kind of water as there, or Moody side to make ye. Na the eh ya kwanza se wutie video ni mun sema de okoko twa ni kesi supi se mpenifo kra se omo ba be bubu edan e wo ho ni bi e de aye sa galam se yi inti ya e ya asema e ye koso wi wi de oka no wa to se wi wi o santa wi de oka no ah de na ni panic kan se mpenifo se edan na wo mpen no be mpen se ko fubi o na According to video, no, ye nipa no send it by a can with video. In the idea, in Pinfona, I imagine, say, Yan on bay, so be kaya, maybe a team, ye wo, 
abusko ona yesa wo be die fra ton kore mpen fo ye so mo kwa ko di ko ko egu so mo die galam te mpen fo ye mo ho ya ye so mo ko di ko ko gu die galam te e ma ikuna fo ne ma me fo ne kokra ko ko mo e sorry ma galam stop be bi omo ye jume na galam stop about the report about on the center omo nja ne moa yeah se bi fu mi ne wo omo nja e ti pero wa ka galam stop e omo ya no omo ye yeah wa ka galam stop asem um be be busa question bi wo galam stop because ya intercepted lecture bi a galam stop uh, a troy e ko ma obuasi um, mc ya na say district assembly no um about investigations so we here yeah, our particular site we need other sites um let and i will screen it so and if i if i'm uh, if i'm allowed to read that um uh, it is dated um 11 1106 2020 um there's a junior um situation report case of asankore in the obwasi east and thursday 11 6 2020 the imcim um uh, m uh, m l n r ops team <laughs> Um, basically, Gallup, Gallup stop, no, responded to the call of cocoa farmers within the Asankore general area to assist in rescuing their farms and water bodies from the invasion of illegal miners. The team visited uh, the scene to confirm that what was actually what the disaster. Uh, uh, fact is that the situation was terrible. And they needed immediate a- attention. So um, this this letter basically, there's no time. You to me reading it now. Uh, basically, the, what they were trying to say, they say, "Omo koho koye mu investigation no." And uh, what kind of letter now could do for my as media to screen is the conclusion it says that the IMCIM monitoring team remains very focused on the challenging time and intent to sanitize the illegal mining sector. Signed, Francis Cb Ebu, head monitoring team. I M C I M. Um, the numbers are there. Um, when we we are we investigation now, we take team no. Gala stop for no. Um, when um, uh, M C I and I said district assembly no. Edin come no. What was the response after our um, um, investigation we and our um, report on the bar out? Send me a letter no. I can't hear now. Um, um, we are waiting to be here to meet in a court no M one. And so, in that day, I can't hold them in so. Yeah, we media men who come with the kind call on point now. Galam stop for a bomb cock or two in pin for nano. Nasenia, a seminar for a quay, and I quay say, Omun seminar to me walk. In the Galam stop for the umbine, um, the um report about the M. Wa, with a cell nano, a ya omoko to ye, and in China, yes, the same, you put between one among, no me pisa, DC, you know, and not the engineer say, Diana, it's Dientina, or two sun among we are OT, because it didn't see the Wagana, a bako say, the baby of yes, in the fee, or that's a ray ya. You see, the Omo amo ti man temu hono. Omo ti mi ama um, DC ya na se abayi jim fo uh, MC o uh, MP no. Omo mama ti ya siye se die eko suwa hono uh, omo bonjo so. And a response ben omo nye free um, 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 in this case government wo. Mpacho omo mama ya we se die eko so ewo mpate mwa ni sebi mpili ya ta. Omo bonjo so. Na oko 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 se police station ha di beko bebi bera di beko bia ana I'm saying DC and I empty the head of security. In China, Munsubia was here to the Anno, Oko, Oko, and Sako, or no. This is a friend, this is a friend, honorable for Sina Emita. May I show so with you, may I very show so with you? Um, uh, Piero, um, what I would like you to do is say, uh, I want you to go deep and um, do a little bit more of investigations and know pata they are playing that was sad i deal with me because there's no way we be to me the excavators bear five and not six about be good in a crow and yes a remote a crow infant things that oh two gallam say oh be able because of the country into what we would like you to do is say um dig deep uh but before i will be corner um what is the situation in a boss when it comes to gallam say generally gallam say no a uh, a, a switcher, and I say at this point, you know, a cost of in crane crossing the because a lot of distractions in the system, so many things are happening in Ghana. Into a man to me, 
focus on no, mm, these kind of things. But wait, two minutes. Wait, my trade the situation with Galamse around Obwasi. Has anything changed? I'm sorry, Oba Obwasi is here. I'm trying to tell you a small scale miners association. Now Obwasi, ah, and now they associate now. They recognize now Obwasi. Now to age ba ba. I'm trying to tell you age ka tomo ha umunti no. Small scale miners association now. I'm sorry, the only age ma you see. Now Galamse now kwa kwa yese. Ebia, wo 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 na wo connecting. Ewo abain mu dia sebi mpira sa. U u u kwa na abain peni for ema wa kwenye sa. I wish to serve notice that we shall do our part to ensure that our country remains peaceful and that the electoral process proceeds smoothly. But, and a big but, let nobody assume that we will accept the results of a flawed election. Back to Loud Talents Radio and TV Network. We've done 35 minutes after four in the United States of America. I know it's 35 minutes after eight in Ghana. The show is called Without Your Respect Extended Version. If this is your first time here, this is the show um, everybody listens to. Now, everybody listens to. I would like to say good evening to the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodan Kwai Kufuado. You are the President. Good evening to the ex president John Dramani Mahama, John Ejekum Kufu, and Jerry John Rawlings. Good evening to the King of the Ashanti. for or say to two. Good evening to all the chiefs, the House of Chiefs, the National House of Chiefs. Good evening to my father, Nana Aidan Ando Okakabin Ando. Good evening to friends and family. Good evening to everybody watching us now. Now this is the show you have to be. Yeah, uh, uh, the next segment now. Um, we we will be going straight. Uh, is um the social media segments. In fact, today's show is packed. That's why um, I'm talking so fast because we have lots and lots of things to deal with. We, we're going to be talking about the Green Book. We're going to be talking about um, how multimedia uh, decided, deliberately decided to destroy Dr. Opony's reputation. And we'll be talking about other issues. So lots and lots of things. Let's um, go through the social media segment quickly and then we can go to the next segment on the show. So our first story of the day is E63 um, Saga. We've given customers personal information to Kelny GVG, Vodafone, Kasapa 102.5 FM reported the story. So presently, if you are a customer or um, you use um, Vodafone Network, you have to understand that all your data, all your information, the last time we were talking about MTN, MTN decided not to do that. The government is trying to strike back by breaking the monopoly of MTN. At the end of the day, hey, we are with Jumaya. We are with Jumaya and our customers. So why is the government breaking monopoly? 
if MTN's competitors are not working well and they are not doing, they are not pulling their weight and MTN is doing a greater job or a better job to get the customers, why do you, out of hate or ignorance, try to break that monopoly? MTN has been around for a long time. They've invented different, different things that has helped the um, communication in Ghana. So I don't understand why the government will turn around and hate MTN. It's all because MTN decided or declined to hand over data of Ghanaians to the government. Today, Vodafone has decided to hand over our information to the government. Today, you have to understand that your banking transaction, your text messages, your phone calls, everything about you, your details, you don't want anybody to know. If you are a Vodafone subscriber or whatever, you have to understand Kelly GVG, which is basically the government, has it. This is big deal. If you are on Vodafone today, I will urge you to cancel it. I will urge you to port. How do you guys call it in Ghana? I will urge you to port to another network. And preferably, I think MTN is the best because they have stood firm to tell the government that they will not they will not go behind their um, workers or their, their, their clients or customers and hand over their information. So if you're a Ghanaian and you, you, you are a Vodafone client, remember that your information is out there. The government is going to track you, whatever you are doing. And hey, this is breaching of privacy and um, it's not accepted anywhere in the world. So I'll urge people who are with Vodafone now, now to, to do the best thing, to do the right thing. I'm not here to campaign for any network, but what I can tell you is if you're a Vodafone uh, um, customer, the best thing to do is to leave because your information will be given to the government. All right. The next story on our social media segment. No bagawai. I can see that. No bagawai, my friends. Today, speed and unwed ding. Speed and unwed ding. Yes. So BBC reported that um, BBC Pigeon says filth take over parts of Accra streets after floods kill one displays some residents. We are in Ghana speaking big English. We are in Ghana contesting each other. We are in Ghana having press conference over press conference, um, exhibiting our ignorance. Filth was one thing that um, the MPP government, which I am part of, or a party that I support, talked about in opposition. We told Ghanaians that we are going to make Accra the cleanest city in Ghana. And the DNC were Ghana. A thing na adokroye. And a thing every corner of Ghana. We have a mayor in Accra. We have a mayor in Kumasi and mayor in the other big towns. What is happening? BBC. So these are all some of the records. Nanado Danke Kufuado is accruing. Yes. Or J or just Samba no. Nanado Danke Kufuado and the MPP. Yeah, just Samba. Samba born in the edge, you And the uh, cry is uh, littered with filth. People are dying. Anytime it rains for 10, 5 minutes, nani pay wu, yen kan huasem. And ubiya ye ding. Everybody's quiet. What has happened? What is happening? What has happened? What has happened? That's what I'm supposed to say. A day they see. And ubiya ye ding. Ubiya nkasa. Your record back when I could pay BBC Pigeon. You say, a thing, a thing, a thing. Yes, a thing, a mwa. Ghana for you, a thing, a mwa. Unime, a thing, a mwa. Unime, a thing, a mwa. Kukubu, so, mame. Eka, so, a thing, a mwa. Just say, you are a candidate for a thing, a thingology. A thingology. Ghana is a country um, competing with other countries in a thingology um, theory. So, yen, yen, yes, say, dear question, yen, do we have leaders in Accra? Do we have leaders? Do we even have a leader? That is the question I have to ask. Um, so BBC actually published um, the story. The next social media story is uh, it's coming from Happy 98.9 FM. And the caption is, um, the director of electoral services at the Electoral Commission, EC, has ruled out the transfer of votes in the upcoming general elections. You see, EC, we we keep saying, say, you see, it's like, I say, like, I say, grow, I say, grow, I say, John, John, I say, concert, concert. These people are, are dangerous people. And uh, we need to have time and, in fact, take care of these people, not like in a very bad way, but handle them and let them understand that they are working for us. You see, the EC is, is dangerously de destroying this nation day by day. They are breaking Ghana in pieces. They are breaking us into pieces. Today, there will be no voter transfer. What has changed? What has changed since 1992? People have the, have had the opportunity and the privilege to travel where they voted to, to transfer their vote and go vote where they think they feel comfortable. So why are people being suppressed now? Now, this EC is basically doing the job of this government. No, uh, reg um, you can't register with a um, uh, 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 voter ID card. You can't, uh, one million vote. Just say, uh, and this man, I keep saying that this Man, a German or Yan, me nim the man in your dress or the tuna coach go from your dress because this man is daft. And the whole EC today, we need to overhaul the EC. Oh, we are serious overhauling because the ignorance and the and the the incompetence level, no, it is difficult to defend. Nothing is working. The inconsistencies in their statements, consistently inconsistent. 
every day omo asem fofor boka asem no mo kan so en en twadwin en twadwin en en twadwin today you are saying said there will be no voter transfer what the hell what is happening are we in an autocratic state what is happening what changed what changed and this is a topic i want us to treat in the weeks to come because it's a very important topic we need to treat people have been transferring their votes hey omo no mo say omo be transfer mo vote they are ganians they whatever wherever you want what has changed that now the east is decided not to make people it's all because they know that people in the voter region no matter where they are they will go back home and vote and get the numbers this is political we don't have to be doing sebi sebi and a patcho and a widow and can ye that is the issue why has the ec become a, a wing to the mpp government why everything that the ec is doing everybody knows that they are shaping everything to make sure kufuado keeps power you are 76 years for crying out loud after your next you will be dead 80 years too old to wipe your ass too old to use your own hand to wipe your ass e dey pa na ope na na kufuado we come to that we don't have a lot of time today um The next story is Africa Watch. Uh, Africa Watch did an in very very in-depth analysis, very serious, you know, I I read everything and to be very to be very honest, I give credit to Africa Watch for this piece of story. Travesty of justice. Yeah, it's gonna how dirty politics killed Unibank to bring Kobna Dufo down. And today we will be talking about um Opuni. So in Ghana today, the only rich The only people who are rich today are the criminals in government like Kennedy of Japan. Yes, the honest rich people, the honest entrepreneurs, the honest people who genuinely wanted to help. On person mo bua Ghana, if you make come, on mo create jobs, on mo on mo on mo on mo nya selfish no. You come in ya kill mo nya djuma. And Cabinet of Four is a typical example. Today as we speak, court court, Attorney General Chukoma Finance Minister Kachen said, Finance Minister, Cabinet of Four djuma ya uguni. There's a problem. From the beginning Ghanaians can say this closing of banks is political and it was orchestrated by Ekufuado and uh, uh, the Achim Yahoo boys Kenneth Oriata Gabi and the rest are the because they want to clamp on everybody and they become the only known rich people in Africa and in Ghana Yes and when you read this story by um, Africa Watch that is where you realize that Ekufuado actually has his fingerprint all over this Kobnado for um closure and Unibank and all that And yet, a mastermind by Ekufuado himself. It is it is something or the project time of a president to make sure that he kills Kobna Dufour's career and kills his empire. Just two three days ago, they went to court and a court threw out the attorney general's claims and said, "Hey, go and sit at the table and talk to Unibank because you have no case. Why do we want to destroy our own as a nation? Why? Why? What is wrong with us?" So if you have not gotten this Africa watch, hey, go and find this and read. Take your time and read. There's a lot in there. And if when after reading this I realized that Nanada Dankwe Kufuado is the most petty wicked president we've ever had. Yes, it is a deliberate thing they did to Kobnado for. To close his banks down, to kill the man. It does not work like that. We came to build a nation. Yenye nipo bako, adeng Kufuado is too petty. I said if you have time take just two hours one hour of your time and read this and you understand why Kobnado for did not or never deserved this hundreds and hundreds of people have been rendered jobless this man was feeding almost over over 3 4 million people because if he employs one person that person was taking care of seven people to 10 people today because of politic pettiness it could for the pettiness in team see this man company his All that he has built as a Ghanaian to help Ghana has collapsed. No reason, no apparent reason. When you ask today, I am a I'm rant here in Babawa because of politics. Oh, banking closure there, yeah. And let me see, they have no idea. Yeah, the Kubene Koji Adri, the amount of money we spent on closing banks, it is crazier than the money we say we made or we saved. And everybody knows these are facts. Propaganda to many jume bim. So if you're a young man a young woman and do you do you know how many people you see what this man built Cabinet of Four built it will take 50 years again for people to build in Ghana I'm telling you it is not just about the bank you are seeing there they build connections they build generational wealth for people Cabinet of Four to me one chicken but there are people Cabinet of Four employed that one chicken is feeding seven families that is what we have to think about 
But because of petty politics and ignorance, people are there and supporting unnecessary things. People are dying every single day, not because of COVID-19, because, the ba- because of the banking crisis. People are dying. If you speak about it, what could you say, baby? That is the problem we have in Ghana today. I said, go and try and read this, and you know the kind of person Ekufuad is. Ekufuad is a petty tyrant who is full of ego, and his ego is taller than him. He does not want anybody who has, who has sweat so hard to get to where Ekufuad has never built anything in his life. Tell me. Ghana for can tell me a day in the or see so my politics. What has he built as a politician or as a Ghanaian to employ people? And I'm a law firm. How many people work there? Why are you no law law certificate in a way? And these are the kind of thing that pisses us off and we speak. All these people in government today, from Ofuriata to one way, Mumuso Muse, what have they built? Can in 1999 stole five five billion Ghana cities? From SNIT, we are all sitting here. Then you hand over the finances and the money of Ghana to Kenneth Rada. He will kill you people. And I showed you a forensic report. Kenneth Rada is a first class criminal. And it's in the report that he was supposed to be prosecuted. Nobody is talking. The so called lawyers, the so called intellectuals, the so called people who know all the facts in the past that can go and bring documents and say, hey, NDC time, hey, wait, wait, type, PP. Today, dear, when we bring the facts and we show to you, and you die miserable. All right, let's go ahead. One million dead people still on electoral roll. I say this EC is the most useless commission we have in our history now. Yes. There are a bunch of ignorant souls there. And I said, 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 I when him say you have one million dead people on the register, what do you do? You know it. You, you are making an emphatic statement. One million dead people still on electoral commission, meaning Jane Mensah and his crew, uh, sorry, and her crew or her team, they know emphatically the Kwamina, so why don't you take it out? And the question is, someone steady BBR. This EC, when they are making statements, when it comes to numbers, it's all around one point, one million, one million. Have you haven't you noticed that? Is this statement you'll be making about numbers, electoral numbers, the, the, people voting, register? One million. One million. So you see, sir, it's a terrain. There's one million beer. Somebody needs somewhere to fill, put into this register. Everybody that makes statement around EC statistics, numbers beer, one million, one point two, one what could in one point five. It's always around the one million number. So ask yourself, sir, why are they still dangling around the one million number? There is a problem there. There is a problem there. There's a one million somebody wants to put somewhere or take somewhere, take out somewhere. You know the one million people. Emphatic statement. Why don't you take them out and tell us that, oh, those people who were making the register bloated or bloat or whatever, they are dead. We know all of them. I'm obituary. I'm a death certificate. Right now, I don't know if you people even accept death certificate. I'm a death certificate. I'm a one million year from. And then you speak like any psychiatric patient. We have one million people in the register. What kind of ridiculous thing is this? Jamie Mensah is empty. She's ignorant. She's the puppet to the president. She does not deserve anybody's respect. But this lady is why and people like us will not allow it. So from watching there, someone they know any statement. Oh, Jack, there are people on the street, Jamie Let me tell you today, there are people on the street when they lose a family, they will come and cut your head off. Oh. Don't think you have any protection or uh, protection from the police. Or, you see, there are people out there, if this election, if you don't do the right thing and they lose families, they will come and cut it off your head. Oh. And your uncle, they will cut off the head of your family. Do the right thing and avoid this kind of, of genocide and tri- tribal war and all this nonsense. It's a simple thing. I've heard chiefs speak. Chiefs are speaking. Why? And then there, uh, Odikro, this is the disrespect, the, the level of disrespect in, in our system. And we allow this woman to make any unnecessary statement and keep walking. And when you speak, it will be some year on national security and who feel me, no, or shirt, sweaty shirt, I should come and pick you. Then you get ignorant people like Canada, Japan, who have hijacked the national security, spilling nonsense. Ghana is such a cheap country for anybody to exhibit their ignorance. That is where we are today. But I'm telling you, Jane Mensah, this is dangerous. And if you have watched them, one million, they are dancing around the one million. Where did the one million go? 
Hey, we MPP, we won by one million over. Your problem is saying, so every time they make a statement, check, one million, 1.2, 1 million, 1 million. There's some one million somewhere. There's some one million somewhere we don't know and we have to understand and find that one million. All right, the next social media story is COVID-19. Um, this story was done by the Ghana Report.com. It says, arrest MPs refusing to self-isolate. NCCE boss. Um, this woman, I respect her a lot. She has been very vocal since COVID-19 started. Oh yeah, oh yeah, one of the leaders uh, who has um, stood up um, to issues she thinks is not right. She came out to tell us in the middle of COVID-19 that um, NCCE, they were given 100 Ghana cities to go and take care of business, meaning they have to go there and educate the people about COVID-19. Today, she's saying that if you are an MP who does not want to isolate when we know or, or if the, the system knows or MPs know these people they have to they have to be arrested and it's a crime because you get COVID-19 you want to infect people you can infect a thousand people and majority of them will die so technically you are committing murder and those people have to be arrested and what hurts me is you see somebody like uh, uh, the majority leader or say chairman sabunsu your bone is no sebi sebi any edi in trocha and bema or no Tama wan zamni ni chane be manon. Or den tro en tro shen anon. Eno chaye. Because this man is the epitome of lies. Or den tro en tro has written all over him. And you know an embarrassed story about him taking double salary. I don't want to call Omar Sanders show. So I can say he is not the person. This man, me num se tama wan zamni e chane be manon. Kuala brim no. Wan zamni no. Na o di adwebi ashana. E diana ya freno. O kanu kura bi wu. Because o se chibin se bonsu is a is a liar. From the from the core. I heard him say that he never knew about or he never confirmed say anybody has COVID-19. I keep saying say COVID-19 is being selective. Now COVID is say che men sa bunsu ka COVID-19 a cheno. And anko wa fenisi ya. Anka he will speak truth. There yale say COVID-19 a kwa chiu biya. Sebi sebi yu yibusana wangga na kura onya omu na omu bre. And a sebi omu suna sebi yu sebi omu jimi omu supporting this nonsense. Andrew obi busa msa ah na health minister unyo ngui. And I'm saying that abiyo ya chain. I say Last week, I make I say COVID nineteen should enter Jubilee House. Take three, enter Parliament. Take ten. You see, enter uh, enter all the institutions that are the health ministry. Take them. then we will see the importance of we the people we have elected in power to do the right thing. Ura Jubilee House, you better serve in a film fast, fast. No cabinet. No we better three a film. Not Jubilee House. We Parliament. We ten a film. They will sit down and know that this thing is dangerous. Yes. I say Chief Minister Musa is a liar. Say he that he did not he did not confirm say somebody has COVID nineteen. Are we twerps in Ghana? Don't we know the reality? Don't we know what's happening? We know people have COVID nineteen. Why don't you shut down Parliament? Now? Why don't you tell people? You see, at this point, yes, are we supposed to tell us who and who have the virus? The health minister is a is the blatant liar. Oh, oh, Jerry, oh, I say I ain't made you dream of who? UGMC, Bahama Hospital. Now, oh, say Ghana more about it. Anka mo tisa o hono. Nanka mo urayi sa ni ma bonu. Ma bonu ap de si trotro. Nap de ni kwa. Ni kwa mo ho. Doma. Nanka mo kwa jane si. Eh. Chep compound ba kum. Yeah. Mono no mo jot ni yena. Yeah. We are feeding you people. You think we are fools. Right. This evening I saw him. Right. Um. Thank you to Ghanaians. I am recovering at home. Eh. Mi ya pa 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 pa. You are recovering. Yes. Because because of your carelessness. And. And your pettiness. And your irresponsibility. No. About 58 people have died. No life is better than any. Obia, we all have the same life. In this way, Obi Chai Obi. O carelessness in as a health minister, continuous lies. The irresponsibility on your part. Nipeu, you, the health minister, you are not better than those people who have died. I am ya that you are recovering. I'm telling you people on. on ah, now I'm a Chai Obi. I'm not a person in the We jaw cry. Because next week, we will be trying to down one and come on, sir. If we are seeing two, two. This is the ridiculousness. This is the nonsense we are we are entertaining in Ghana today. This is the this this the, you see. This is the this is the nonsense we are entertaining in Ghana today. Inti Ochna Health Minister we want to know. No, I bet you know catch him. So oh, everything is fine. Will you believe him? Because this guy lied almost to death. When he survives this and comes back, he's going to lie for you to go die. That is where we are. All right, let's keep going. Um, I think this might be the last social media story. Um, one more. Um, so I want to ask one simple question. Um, if Canada Japan knows everything in this world, only no Nimbia we are say I as of phone, we don't need them. Let me tell you, Canada Japan. Hey, Ubet Makofa video of Obinim. Ubet Makofa video of um 
uh, uh, Nigel Gazi. He is sleeping or active porno. Over to make a video of Obo uh, uh, Obofo, Obo active porno. I don't care. Ghanaians don't care. Canada, Japan. These are the kind of things we want. So they will say your network is solid. You have all the information in Ghana. Go and bring us the cocaine. Cocaine, I Iran. Any two hundred thousand dollars in Canada, Japan. We investigation. We are we are a member of parliament. You are there to protect the people to help us find things. For our experience now, we want. I was starting to talk cocaine. No, baby, don't jump there. Oh dear, oh yeah, cocaine sniffer dog. Oh, me, oh, cocaine or casual car. So, oh, just man, I bet it. But see, sniff and show us where the cocaine is because it's missing under your government. But see, Niger Gazel, uh, Obinim. But see, Niger Gazel. We better go find the porno abba. Niger Gazel at Pornhub dot com. Hey, and find me. I don't pay taxes to Niger Gazel. Hey, that guy, Niger Gazel, he can finish all the girls in dance room. Finish all the girls in Mateko. I don't care. I don't pay my taxes to him. It's between him and his God. Go for Binim's story. I don't care. I don't pay my taxes to him. I pay my taxes to you. Cocaine Aira. $200,000 Aira. Now, customs knock up in, in blame games over missing cocaine. Canada, Japan, do the need for. So also, your cocaine sniff dog. Sniff this cocaine, you see. So also, we'll network near solid. You have all the information. All the... And tomorrow, I said, you said, you're more cotton at two. Now, hey, honorable. Mr. Mofamu Jimmy, you say, honorable, you see, you're ready to pay Oh, Akawo, I won't have a beer. In this year, okay, Naira, for our experience, no, every show cocaine in my it's unnecessary things in Ghana. And you remember, I got shown in it too, no, or to one of our cars of one people are dying. Me catch them and say, Hey, Ghanians, you people have to get serious. Oh, this guy can edit Japan intellectually, he cannot make any intellectual analysis about the economy as a government representative or as a, as a, as a member of parliament. He can't ball us politics, no, you know. I said, when was the last time you saw him even sit on things like um, um, a Bernard Avlet show or news file to make very, very conscious and, and, and intellectual analysis of situation, economy, whatever, on to me. I mean, a crazy giant way, on to me. All that he can do is play on the emotions of people and he knows that we there. When it comes to religion, definitely, definitely, and you get people who have finished school, universities and all that and they're falling for this nonsense. Nigel Gazi, do you pay your taxes to him? You are 50 pesos, 30 pesos. Now you do 100 Ghana. No, can you do the other channel? And all the channel criminals. No, into what to now we are on a boy idea with Jimmy. And I'll use these words every day. And uh, some people come into my, my inbox and insult me. You insult me. Say, Master, insults were not created by man or were not created by man to be used on animals. No, insults were created by man to be used on men who refuse to think like humans. Until you have to understand, say, you Jimmy who and you do at them. So let's move um, to the last social media story, um, which is this one. <laughs> hey. So I, I'll come to, after this, I'll do a short 20, 30 minutes um, issue on the, um, on the Green Book, and then we'll move forward. Yeah, we do, we, we're talking about the Green Book remedial classes. Green Book remedial classes. NDC, they are talking too much. We are going to fact check them. In some normal kind of Ukraine, I'm a green book. No, I have something I want to say today. I have a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars for somebody to come out and point, say, Washem Green Book. There is a project there which never existed. Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. We are putting down 5,000 Ghana cities, or at this point, 6,000 Ghana cities. Somebody should show us, do a video, and explain, say, Wohun. Three projects, just three, three projects in the Green Book, in the John Mahama Green Book, this book, in the John Mahama Green Book. Three projects are, what's your John Mahama Green Book? It is not true. It is never true. We will give you a thousand dollars on Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. We will give you a thousand dollars. Yes, a thousand dollars, six thousand Ghana cities, free. Your yeah, one casa video, shoot it professionally. We will play it for the world to see. Point to the fact, show us where. A woman anyhow. So and the, in terms of we are going to fact check the NDC. Central no muchos and the Kwan Muka, we will see it. Pick this book, tell the world three things a woman, it never exists. In New York, MPP NDC talked about it. They said they have done it. All the pictures, show us the picture and tell us, say, hey, the world, these things there, this, 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 these three things, they are not the NDC light. And when we go to the location, it's not there. We will give you a thousand dollars. That is six thousand Ghana cities for free. You're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. So this is our last social media um 
segment. It says government and you see, it's about the lies. Today I heard upon Kumar tell Ghanaians in his hasty, hasty on on, 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 on guarded press conference. I'll come to that issue. And he in a press conference, Kujo Pankrumah said, We didn't promise Ghanaians anything. We only told them about our vision. Okay, this is what the NPP is telling us today. We'll come to that issue. But this is our last social media story. And he says, um, and, and the last social media story, and he says, uh, government to build hostels for Kaya starting next month. And these are promises. And these are statements made by the president and his vice, especially B Vice President Dr. Maubia. Where are the Kaya hostels? We just want to ask. Oh, these ones too are all vision. So right now, the vision incorporated. Okay. Um, Ghana Web also reported no village will have water, toilet problems in our first two years. We are almost at the end of your four years. You have built 13,800 toilets. Um, how many villages do we have in Ghana? And the statement was no village. And everybody knows that these are emphatic statements that came from Dr. Baumia. Are all these statements also vision, vision statement or visionless statement? The same people said we will build theater in every ridge. Ish, 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 ish. Producer, I keep, uh, people keep saying those sound. I don't know if um, uh, they're trying to distract me, but I think it's fine. Um, Baumia said, we will build theater in every region. Four years. Is that one to just vision? The same Nanado Dan Kwekufuara and Baumia said, every Ghanaian will own a bank account in 2018. We are in 2020. Do you have a bank account? And these are facts. These are not like Busri Mukaun. Where your facts and that whole Mukai statement are, they are on record. They are on record. Yes, um, I'm still getting that signal from people that there's no sound. Um, um, somebody says sound is good. I think some people check your China phone. Uh, check your phone. So and then COVID nineteen government begins construction of eighty eight district hospitals this year. Have they started um, any of the hospitals? We want to know. Or these, were, these ones too were just vision statements. So you have to understand that this government, which I voted for, which I belong to, you cannot take that away from me, which I voted for, campaigned for, is a lying government. It's a government made up of chronic liars. You can't say chronic liars. You liars are dokromo. You can't say you are a chronic liar. 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 a chronic liar. He is a chronic liar. That be a brother from some case. Oh yeah, do entra do crono a do cro. This is an a do cro government. Entra pele, entra opele. And I'm catching the last time. See, Ekufuado, his style of governance is like opela boaji atibi mungwa. Boa di baya tum. I say inside tum inside on the need. I don't know. Yes, that's the offside. I don't want to say no. Uh, uh, health minister Yari, we catch you be also arrested. Oba ya, nya 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 nya. Health minister recover very soon. We say no. They be a certain offside and they could forward. We say no. Atibim defense, atibim governance. And they could feel could you upon crime? Atibim you ababo. Team inside, team inside. Sa four years ago, they could forward is the replica of Opele when it comes to government. It's Opele governance, and you don't want me to say this. Let's get serious in this nation. End of the social media segment. Our next segment is going to be fact-checking the NDC um, quickly and then NDC Green Book. Quickly from that, we're going to do the editorial of the day. You're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. My name is Kevin Ekobedi Taylor. This is, with all due respect, extended version. And I can say that, yeah, I, I can, I can batterize my, my point to say that uh, former President Mahama has been rotting in the corruption to the core, you know, and now he's alive. This, this, this is why, you know, and even still he has been corrupted or still, uh, or done something bad to the country. He don't want to say it. He don't want to explain it to, to the country. You know, he thinks, you know, uh, uh, but it wasn't like that. Some of the head of states, like... Um, just, uh, welcome back to Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. NPP are Daniel Benkwain. Nankawe, some of you can say, we have battled our point. We have battled our point. We are regional chairman, regional chairman of the the great NPP. You see, NPP are Daniel Emonia Benkwain. Antifrima. Well, now, what was Antifrima Benkwain? NDC at NPP are Daniel Benkwain. 
today um what happened was the ndc came out to make a statement and uh, a presser and they called it um they tried to let Ghanaians know the kind of things the ndc the mpp talked about that they are not fulfilling that it was the idea behind the ndc presser and um the main idea was to tell Ghanaians that hey you have a social contract with the government the government promised you something and that have they done it how far have they started it even and where have they gotten to so they just access the npp promise to Ghanaians before we Ghanaians gave them power so technically the ndc were talking to the mpp political as a political party saying that when you were in opposition as a political party you actually told Ghanaians or you had a contract with the government about uh, with Ghanaians about the things you would do they're simple one and you see the funny thing the mpp said a lot of things but there were things we call flagship policies or programs that made Ghanaians fell in love with the npp now before we do that let's fact check the ndc first their green book this is the green book of the NP ndc as you can see um their candidate john dramani mahama yes john dramani mahama is on the green book john dramani mahama is on their green book this is what they call their holy grail they believe that and they they, they say and they believe in it they say everything in this book they are factual and that nobody can contest any single picture or statement in this book. So this is the holy grail of the NDC. And they keep telling the MPP that if these things in these books we are talking about is not there, come out and tell Ghanaians that they are not there. Facts. Now, we are going to fact check them and see. And if you're a Ghanaian, and if you know what I'm talking about, we are taking 20 minutes out of this to do this. And then we take it from there. So if you're a Ghanaian and you have this book, you can open to page 45. Let's do some remedial classes here. If it's a lie, let's be honest and tell the MDC that they cannot lie to Ghanaians. Page 45. When you go to page 45, what you see on page 45 is this. It is housing. Um, as time goes on, we'll be doing what we call the Green Book Remedials, whereby we will take our time, take it topic by topic, page by page, and then fact check the NDC and know say, whether they are lying or not. We have seen people try to contest the Green Book. We are doing our job. We are trying to make sure say, everything the NDC is talking about in the Green Book is factual and they cannot lie to Ghanaians because we've got it to that point where we are not expecting Ghanaians or politicians to lie to us again. They need to let us know what they have done, what they can do before we make a decision and vote for them or vote them out. So as we speak, if I NPP guy, I'm telling you, NDC person, that we have constructed a dam, I need to show you proof and show you that this thing is actually exist. It exists and that these are the pictures and we will go there and fact check it. So the NDC, at this point, they say they have a Holy Grail book and they think that and they believe that whatever is in here is on the ground. Now let's fact check the NDC. On page 45, you see what we call housing. Housing. Now, from page 40, this is page 45. Page 46 and 47, you see this. 46, 47, you see this. And what is written there is... What is written there is... So, 46, 47, 48, 49. You can see two pages put together. 46, 47 is up there. 40, 40, 40, uh, 48, 49 is now there. And what you can see there is government continues to invest heavily in the area of housing in bid to bridge the housing deficit. An aggressive affordable housing program has been rolled out to provide more Ghanaian families in the lower to middle income bracket with decent homes. The programs being undertaken in this great are, and that is what they said in their book. Now, um, these are some of the things that the project they said they have done. One, the affordable housing project at Segleme in Ningo Pram Pram district of Greater Accra region. And as you can see there, um, Segleme project is there. Segleme, you can see that project there. Now, they went on to say, um, on still page 49, um, Nyami Dia Estate. Nyami Dia Estate. And you can see clearly Nyami Dia Estate showing there on your screen. Nyami Dia Estate is also there. That's why I'm saying that from this point, we will be fact checking the NDC. We will be fact-checking every statement they make. We are not just going to make them make a statement and just walk away. Nyami Dia Estate, as you can see on your on your far left, they have the picture there, Nyami Dia Estate. They also have, number three, security service housing scheme. Security service housing scheme. On your screen, you can see security service housing scheme. 
are these projects there? If you're a Ghanaian and you know where these projects are, let us know because we need to fact check the NDC on these things. The security um, housing scheme, phase one and two. Then they have the Keta Sea Defense Resettlement Housing. The Keta Sea Defense Resettlement Housing. Uh, that one too, you can see here. Let me show you. Um, uh, we fact check them. It's also in here. Yes, the Keta Sea Defense um, uh, Project. You can see that one too on your screen. So um, from what I can see, the Keta one is on your far right. You can see the one down there. That is the Keta C defense housing um, scheme. On top of Keta, you can see Nyamidia Estate at Kpong. If these things are not there, let us know. If these things are not there, let us know because we need to fact check the NDC. Um, let's move forward. When you go to page um, 52, 53, you see what they call Tema Development Corporation, TDC Housing Project. Tema Development Corporation, TDC Housing Project. Is this project there? Do you see it? Do you live in Tema? Do you have evidence of this? This is the time we have to start ask, asking questions and demanding reasonable answers, my fellow Ghanaians. They can't just put things in the book and just walk away. We need to find where they are. If they are there, if they are not there, I would like you Ghanaians to come out and say these projects are lies by the NDC and they are never there. That's why we are doing this Facebook or um, 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 Green Book remedials. Are these projects there? And as you can see, page 53, you can see the Tema Development Corporation TDC Housing Project. Tema, um, Tema Community 1, Site 3 Housing Project. People living in Tema, is this project there? Are these projects there? Do you, are the houses there? All right. Now we move to page 54 and 55. Page 54, 55. What you see there is the new Labadi Villas housing project. Is this true? Did the NDC actually construct the new Labadi Villa project? Is it true? If it is, if you live around there, let us know uh, 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 and fact check the NDC. The NDC cannot just say things and walk away. We need to fact check them. The same way the NDC is trying to fact check the MPP, it is also advisable or it's also reasonable for us to fact check the NDC um, and their green book. Do we have this project? And the project is called the New Labadi Villas Housing Project. Is it there? People living in Labadi, if you're watching me, if you've not been there, please pay a visit there, take a video, take a picture. The video is very, very important and send to us and let us know that the housing projects we talked about, if these things are real. All right. The next one is page 55 and 50, 57. 56 and 57. It says the Adenta Regeneration Project, SH. C gardens are these projects there at adenta are these projects there at adenta are they there yes we want to know if the ndc is lying or not or if they're telling the truth let us know let us know if this labadi villa project is there the lab the adenta regeneration project shc gardens adenta regeneration project shc gardens if they are there let us know if they are not be very, very bold and come out and let people know that these projects are not there. So um, these are all in um, the Green Book by John Mahama and the NDC. Today we treated the housing um, um, part, which is the, 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 the housing uh, 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 um, portion of the book. Um, next time we're going to be treating um, the other uh, 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 projects they said they have um, done. So this is in the Green Book page 45 all the way to page 58. Check it. If there's nothing there, let us know. And if it is, also let us know. If you take it upon yourself to go there and video yourself and make a small commentary, bring it here. I have said that Loud Silence Radio and TV, Loud Silence Media, we will give anyone who comes out with three projects which are not in the Green Book that the NDC is boasting of correctly with a video fact we will give you a thousand dollars we will give you a thousand dollars that is six thousand ghana cities we will give you a thousand dollars all right that is the um green book fact checking uh, our next episode is going to be my editorial and my editorial is simple this is the editorial of the day it's about dr opening and it's not specifically about dr opening it is about journalism in ghana it is about constructive journalism it is about journalism with proof and evidence it's about journalism that will sustain our democracy. Are we?
going to experience the same kind of journalism we experienced in 2013, 14, 15 before we entered election 2016 because lots a lot of things were sent or said that were not true. And a typical example is things that were said on Adum TV against a gentleman like Dr. Opuni. Dr. Opuni used to be a former CEO of Coco Board. Um, today, uh, Multimedia has come out through Adum TV to apologize to Dr. Opuni that some things they said were all lies. And those things they said are the reason why Dr. Opuni is in court today. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the things we have to take serious going into election 2020. I know that a lot of radio stations and TV stations have been set up. Are they going to give us the facts? Are they going to hide behind nine studios, nine names, big names to feed the people with lies? This is Loud Silence Radio and TV Network, and this is with all your respect. And I can say that, yeah, I, I can, I can batterize my, my point to say that uh, well, former President Mahama has been rotting in the corruption to the core. You know, and now he's alive. This, this, this is why, you know, and even still he has been corrupted or still uh, or done something bad to the country. He don't want to say it. He don't want to explain it to, to the country. You know, he thinks, you know, uh, uh, but it wasn't like that. Some of the head of states like you has been, has been killed. You know, he has been killed for us, you know, for the country to grow to this level. For the genesis of our democracy, you know, for the for, for the genesis of our democracy. Chama un to me or no I mean Chama un to me is a is a is a I mean one means or chain okay kind of stuff. All right, so uh before election twenty sixteen uh we had a lot of media houses coming out with a lot of stories. Um, if you watch With All Due Respect yesterday, which I release a piece every Sunday, I talked about how multimedia, um, that is Joy News, Adobe FM, whatever, Asempa, how they destroyed Dr. Opuni. We have to understand that this topic is not about Dr. Opuni. In fact, his name might be in there, but we are looking at a bigger picture of how journalists in Ghana are destroying people, how journalists in Ghana are through, through their, 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 their oppressions or through their work, uh, uh, at, at a point whereby, yes, they are, they are destroying the nation. When I say they are destroying the nation, they are destroying people who have decided to work from their heart. Because you have to understand that people like Dr. Opuni and others, they had better things going on for them. You have to understand Dr. Opuni is, is, is a world-class doctor who does a lot of serious operations. But the issue is these kind of people decided to put aside their profession enter into government work to help Ghana. So you have to understand it will take a lot of courage for somebody to say I'm making this money but I'm going to leave it. I've gone to school, I've studied this, this is my profession but that wasn't the only thing I learned. I've learned other things too and I think it's about time I contributed my quota um, to this government or this country through um, 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 governments. Now we had media houses in 2015-16 coming up with a lot of things. Now, before I start today's show, let me play two videos. And after playing those two videos, we can go ahead with the conversation and then I can break it down for us to understand what is happening. Now, in 2015, uh, 2018, 2018, when we, the MPP, came to power, Adum, FM, Adum TV, to be very specific, in fact, Multimedia, um, they actually contracted Low when he, he had a show on Adum TV. And you have to understand that before somebody comes in to have a show recorded or pre-recorded or even played live, we have a production team. Like when you come to Loud Talent Studios, we have the TV section there. We have the radio section here. We have the um, the, the edit editor's section on that side. You can't just come in and say, I am Lowen. Play this video for me. And then I'm going to go on my show. It doesn't work like that. You need to go through procedure procedures. We have editors. We have video editors. We have content direct. We, you can't just let it go. Because if Lewen comes with a pornographic material, at the end of the day, that is why we have bridges that um, um, people have to cross before the material is put on the, on the network, especially as a, a network, I to say, multimedia. So, who be beside us? I say, and yes, a buyer and I know be the tape could tell Lewen by not the tape. I wish him Nipa and a share a verifier can say, ah. Okay, let me tape you out by idea. Open so the ball will show you so there. It make it sense. Yeah, check it. Be be okay to be to my ball. With all due respect, yen yen and respect to Lil Wayne. He's a good actor. He's a great pers pers person. 
has good personal great personality ni ngoma nko enim eh it's a fact lewen is a, is a, is a, is a, is, a, is a movie star uh, he has accepted his flaws he knows himself on a woman queen ma if you pick him and you see the talent in him and tell him say you where he will do it but for lewen to be put on adum tv you know it means there's a lot of work that has to be done behind the scenes to make sure every content lewen talks about you know it is being cleared because adum tv and our multimedia you no know, it is a big platform especially going into elections or after elections when there's so much tension in the system we weska we weska in general because 2014 15 16 we saw a lot of videos videos and it says um people in government let let me specify it is a john mahama yeah who videos be on a social media i said john mahama koto hotel be or dubai and now then but team na billions of dollars you your election now sa hotel no any bbi ira you know people for a catch a gun for say sa hotel no there your bad power i will make sure say john mahama you are trying to because of the gun is going to go to hotel you will crown honey at this stories be and this were all coming from the media story be say uh ibrahim mahama to be tam gold Gold the lele, gold tatete, gold Olympics, gold bobobo. No, they go plain mu. No, they go Dubai. No, they go town. And that MPP, yeni MPP, my Ghana forty. I say your records ni na the moment you be back office no first day no you make sure say John Mahama ni ni Ibrahim Mahama we will um put them in jail. Kennedy Japan tina TV so kasi say Ibrahim Mahama and Kodje in the first first term of MPP um he will kill himself. Boga 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 punchin or the one in amho no lie. So lots and lots of things happened. Now, before election 2016, there was a particular video making circulations in the system, and it was one of those videos. Ah, yani MP before you saw me. Ah, media no help to propagate. Media no saw me. And they say Adam TV. Any multimedia as, as in general. Your butcher Ghana for ne a ye video be a extra say sika. Ah, yasha shana dakim trunk ma a buying. Sana video na mafu kanya a buying muni pa b. A area, a friend said, "Oh, money laundering. Oh, most of the sasika when you leave Ghana because now you need MPP for your say. In Kofono, and I say, and this phone him so many lose so abundantly. You pay me to say opuni. John Mahama, oh, most rare Ghana sika. Coco board sika. Gen gen sika. Oh, most of the internet journey. And these are kind of the videos that I buy. So I video that buy 2015, 16, and I start popping up in 2018. And all these videos were shown on bigger platforms that made impact in our politics in 2016." Or say, 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 ni padu do ano mo share, ni padu do ano mo share multimedia. Ah, some down who share multimedia. Nah, enyani pak, enyani ni padu do, ni paketwa. Lots and lots of people international. Oh, be amu ni nasha multimedia. Inti people really soaked it. And I'm not for to try to WhatsApp. So, but before election, a side video was circulating. Uh, and let's watch the video quickly, and then we'll come to um the next video. So as we all can see your video no um your sika a good trunk sima um red cross for sticker a bon clear for everybody to see say um but at the, at the end of the day no no you name say red into it was in a system 2016 so video now was 2016 now what one funny thing 
after video we bar out, no, Red Cross actually came out to say, say, and it was on their website and also on Twitter. I'm going to make an official statement in 26, 2018. In fact, there was one, um, the first statement they made, you know, was in 2018, this January, and then this one is um, January 15th. So, after video, we bar out in 2016, you know, they came out, 2016 January, Red Cross came out to say, say, Sir video na ye hoon wo social media e nyo mu video. E ye ni pe bi nana amu pe se, amu gu Red Cross e ni ma se se, aman fo bi yusu Red Cross na as a money laundering harbor. Amu yusu e dino e di transfers kanchi. This is what they wrote. They said, we have nothing whatsoever to do with the transaction alleged in this video. A fake ICRC logo has been used for purposes of transporting funds. Our emblems stand for neutral and impartial aid. Any misuse may have a serious impact on ability to reach those in need. So Red Cross in January, January, 20, January 2018, 2018 January, I said, I'm going to video, I'm going to video, I'm going to video, I'm going to video, I'm going to verify, I'm going to verify, I'm going to verify, in March 2018, March, as as a media house like multimedia, ah, Obianim is a multimedia there. It's a big media platform, lot of editors, lot of fact checking before you allow anything to go on your airwaves. Because in 2018, you have to understand, even 2016, multimedia called the election before the electoral commissioner uh, commission called the elections. So the credibility of multimedia not to Ghanaians, the nanya de ketwa, ye who multimedia say in media platforms no, on the media uh, platforms, om no ye creme de la creme. Omu can sam na chese, oma to shim ehu facts no and sana oma try, especially when it comes to issue about money laundering. Very, very important. Money laundering. In the 2018, no, January, and a red cross barb on Tibekas asem. But you know the funny thing? In March 2018, in March 2018. On Lewis show or hosting a multimedia, so I hear uh, Adum TV, you know. Multimedia with all the editors, the video editors, the program managers, they actually allowed Lewin to use this video on his show. And I'll catch a Ghana for say, Sikana Omuhun or Trank upon all the, the documents, any uh, 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 press releases, uh, Red Cross uh, releases, uh, Sa Sikano. A young coffin the frame or modi omo logo tata on send a bear omo transport is car. It has got nothing to do with um Ghana. It has got nothing because after the investigation, that's when they came out with that. Now, join us upon knowing all these things. They allowed Lewin to go on TV, Adum TV, to tell the whole Ghana in Ghanaian language, Ghana custom say, Dr. Opuni, former Coco board boss, no, or no, or no. Esika na ouria every Ghana. Edi akwa buchi. And I make say, this issue is not about Dr. Pony. This issue, and the make was is about journalism. The ethics of journalists in Ghana. Journalism na in Ghana, no. Omu be kunya na asomu no be buaye. It is very important. I'm a journalist myself. And the reason why I be yes, I peace, which is say, aka krebini do election. Fake news in in Sensembeba. You be trying to try to unkofoso. In because I'm not going to mean defend your man because propaganda. The only way they can walk away or swerve that question is they will go and pick these kind of videos and stuff to put on people. Inti, make us more interesting say about it's about Dr. Pony. No, Dr. Pony happens to be the person who was caught in the middle of this. But issue is about our journalists in Ghana. Now, a whole multimedia as a media house, no, they actually allowed this to happen. And uh, Lewin Betina TV. So in March, Red Cross released a statement in January. So it was a deliberate thing. That means that you will nipe bia omo wo multimedia omo ya majini se no matter what omo good doctor punufi at the back of journalism ethics no because you have to understand say yeni MPP for a static video we want them in opposition 2016 15 any catcher Ghana for say sasi kana mu muni de. You better make sure said Doctor Opuni any omo maka ni na video ni you better show on that video. I was part of it. Yeni na yeu share that video. I was part of people who watched the video. In another dan kweku fuado bar power 2016, the first public official or sake no 
in his government, a year doctor opening from Cocoa Board. Or any the first person, Nanado Danko Kufuaro, a Pamoni free Cocoa Board. He wanted to tell Ghanaians to say, Dene Koso videos, Nane Koso Nane, yet the year campaign, MP before catching Ghana for say, yeah, bah, you be making sure, said Dr. Pun, you be jelino, no. On that basis, that video, no, Nane Kufuaro took, took the first step, or be your president, no, the first person of Pamonoa, or say, I'm finding court, Nian caught charge, no. So many charges, but they are yet the most important charge in our charge in our money laundering. Into your deal, puny court court, no. The first charge in your money laundering, embezzlement, and then, but the biggest charge in your money laundering, they use video way as our basis. Now, in March, time a low when you video way, no. Now, open you court. I'm telling you, now you open your court. Into who will allow this to happen? In the government attorney in this one who is a video, no, without doing double checks, no, they also relied on this video again to tell the court to say Opuni was involved in money laundering. So what check here? Opuni case ne cost ni afia bedu baby say a dabi opuni aye money laundering. Wa ko transfer twenty five thousand Ghana ako a gongo account sumiti. That is the money laundering because the basis of that money laundering ne ewo on that video till Red Cross bar out to make say that video is a lie. So a whole government machinery, a whole multimedia, a whole media, they did not check. Now, after the when yes, I did we know open is you multimedia. Or oh, see oh, show no the win no. I catch up say, no, what is happening is wrong. And that these videos are all the are part of the issues that I'm struggling in court because there's no basis to the video. Red Cross has come out to say, and this is multimedia with professional journalists to say. Now, Adam TV. Court catch your say, sir, video no more here, no, and you're wrong because it has had an influence on all my involved in the case, no. Because oh yeah, judge crying out to so now we should sir, video no be a technically automatically you are human and it will influence your judgment and it is better for multimedia to come out, I do TV to officially tell Ghanaians say that video they linked Doctor Opuni to and other people, no, it is not true. They should put their credibility on the line and do that. But only their multimedia, eh? I'm gonna say. I don't TV for Emma apology. And this is the apology. And I'll tell you about this apology. Let's watch this. Kasabiko <laughs> Ya tundi din Don Tsing Fan News. Ewa Adum TV. Na mwaba kaya se. Eye da. Eye 24th March. 24th March 2018. Mwaba kaya se. Bebe kaya eye. Ye former CEO of Coco Bob. Eye Dr. Opuni Asem. Ewa Don Tsing Fan News. Eshuo nusu. Mwaba kaya se. Bebe kaya se. Eye sikebi. Afanansa se. And my baby, she should skin the guada come away. What then be be? I saw the show where beer was it then see on my man so. The cunning in a oh, I don't think fair news show no so. The how be our firm, yeah, be a dear for someone who I want you to come for someone who and that day be Jack as a video to say. I saw my car don't think fair news in a son. Nina, not a yellow cray. Papa, fire bonnet. The fa. Yeah, come on, you know, be a bonnet channel. You say, we never back. Now, which you are supposed to. So, um, this is the apology. Uh, um, officially, Nanka may expect to crumple some multimedia as a, as a media house will actually cut this piece and put on YouTube, everywhere on social media for Ghanaians, every Ghanaian to know this. But I think the majority of you listening to me, you know, don't want to crumple as some way. Moon, moon, apology way. Uh, I'm now. I'm news. I'm cutting out of the news. You took YouTube, but you not find it because I had there. I'm your imagining say I'm gonna retract it indirectly. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but you see the problem. Then they say this is a country. Yeah, your tima. The people are yeah rely on almost to give us information, to give us credible information. Eh, the media. We have less than seven months to elections. Now the problem is. 
if a media house like Joy News, Joy News, would do such a thing to a Ghanaian, Anka, uh, 2015 Quran Anka, na a war no, Obi and Kashi, because that was a 2016, no, na a month for Yenyama. But Red Cross crab bar out in 2018, January. Ebbe Meki statement on Twitter. Ebbe Meki statement on their official website. He had a press conference to tell the world, said they have done the investigation. A group of people who wanted to malign them with this kind of money laundering into my investigation. A nipa kubina yes, and a sikano crampolo, they fake money. You people can go and check your archives. Nasikana ne guan kredimu a trank minina ne fake money. But they just wanted Red Cross to look bad in the eyes because there are some people in this world they don't believe in what Red Cross does. It is January. So why will a whole media institution like multimedia, specifically Adobe TV, will allow Lewin to go on TV to go and say these kind of things to Ghanaians? A whole name problem as a journalist. It's not even about Dr. Pony and no. A whole name problem because these are the same people we have now who we call journalists. They are going to be calling elections. They are going to be making assessments and they are going to be making a statement we will look at or listen to and to influence our decisions when we go to the ballot. As you can say, Dr. Opuni is in court. And you know the funny thing in court? Court into me and and Jinasu Potinkase Opuni laundered money. Sikana Yekano. On your fact be here for four years or Dr. Opuni the whole court. On to me, go practice it. On to me, he came to help Ghana. He came to help Ghana. Four years he's in court. Fighting what is not there. Fighting what multimedia cooked. It could be any politician. And the funny thing is, we have to understand, say, but there are politicians, sir. Multimedia, any other media houses in Ghana who are influenced by other people, they have destroyed, we don't even know. And then, yeah, see, hey, and you've been a Comrade for, as we are speaking, if we speak, the Comrade for, there's no charge against Unibank. And so, Abayne said, no, not lie, this man's bank has to go down. What country are we building? And see, the man, 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 the no media house has a problem with this. I was expecting the NCA, the day I caught, a car say, Opuni as na muye mon retracting na mu apologize na munya diano. And I may expect to say NCA, the National Communication Authority, will come out and say, multimedia, you are going to be shut down for six months to serve as a lesson to the other media houses. I was expecting because I believe that we live in a country where there are rules and regulations that when you go against those things, you need to be penalized. So that at the end of the day, no, you be say no. Bibi or ho, into ye bibi a bibi betumayo. But the funny thing is, NCA as we speak, journalists go so, and people who are selling information out there, omo te so, obi di se kweku se chiado, oti NCA board so. Obi di se Paul Admocho, a journalist, oti NCA board so. So why do you think these people will not be concerned as citizens, as citizens or as journalists? To say, say, no, what is happening it could happen to anybody else because that video alone and the man opened it down in court today. It's me, because I was saying, oh, oh, papa, you open it. Oh, uncle, you open it. What's in your How will you feel if you are married to open it? You open it, and I said, the bar, how will you feel? Because your father has been in court for four, almost four years for with, because of a video, some journalist out of whatever decided to put out there for government to pick on it and destroy somebody's life. And we have to understand, say, this year's election is crazier than any elections we have been in. We all see, see a good science, you know, how the communion is happening. There's an election that will define us. There's an election that will decide, say, or it will, it will establish, say, we have come of age. And I say, we are a democratic nation. So I got, I get so scared. The day I mean, who? So I video away, apology video. I got so worried because these same people are still in our media space. Multimedia, Adam TV, Adam FM. They will be coming back. Joy News, they'll be coming back with, with filth like this. I would say filth like this because they have not even shown any rumors. How many of you watching me know about this video, this apology? No. Mumusa NC if one said, why are they not bothered? As the Ghana Journalist Association said, why are they not bothered? Because it is the intention of people to destroy people, our own people. 
That is the intentions of people. That's why on my show, if I don't have the facts, I will not speak. If I don't have the facts and I don't come on air, what's the big deal? But I will never come sit on air with fake facts and then make, no. That's why anytime I bring out documents and facts, I put it out and say, follow the facts. Listen, there are a lot of things happening, my fellow Ghanaians. Dr. Puni is struggling in court today for four years. Judge out to Dr. Puni case, this judge, he publicly, you know what, move on to me, this is a judge sitting on one of the most sensitive political cases in our country. The next two weeks, President M. Mouvuna called Supreme Court. It is delicate. In Tibibusa said, the journalist in Ghana, can we check the system? Can we be truthful a little bit? Can we honestly say, say, hey, irrespective of who is in power, let's not malign people with such things and destroy people's career. Trust me, Dr. Opuni and the likes and the other politicians we have lied about, they had their career. They were already millionaires before they go into politics. So why do you think doing this you achieve anything from it. Why? You see now, multimedia has become a chicken coop. Obia Janifrio, there's no content because all that they cooked in 2014-15 was propaganda. As we speak today, they cannot defend their own propaganda. A government that came into power telling the people so many things we are going to do for you. Today, they almost say it wasn't a promise, it was a vision. The reason why Ghanaians voted for this MPP government was because of the things the MPP government, which I belong to, MPP party I belong to, told Ghanaians. We had a social contract to the people. They said one district, one factory. One constituency, one million. We said we're going to build dams across the nation. We're going to provide every single home. You see, at the end of the day, end of the year, we start to questions now. We have people, because they can't they can, they can answer the questions, then it turns into insults. I saw Kujo Ponkrumah, and we were going to deal with this MPP, NDC presser against MPP. I saw Kujo Ponkrumah embarrassing himself throughout. MDC was talking to MPP as a political party, not the government. You don't use government resources to come and address a political party's address to a political party. It's a no-no. And even having that access, you could not justify your statement. NDC were asking questions. You promised the people something. Have you done it? It's a simple question. It's a simple. It's all about the jargons and the World Bank says that we are good and you see this political party, the alliance. No, it's a question. You sign a contract with Ghanaians. Masa also be a damwaye. Masa also be a These are simple, straightforward. And the funny thing is, everything that these people talked about, I'm talking about NDC, they brought your own document to show that people say it is in there. You even went to the point by telling Ghanaian say every senior high school was going to get Wi-Fi. I didn't write it. Dr. Baumia, Ekufuado, and the team wrote it and told us that if you sign a contract with us, four years, you get all this. 350 senior high schools. So the question the NPP or the opposition, the NDC, is asking the NPP as a political party is, you wrote this in opposition. That's your manifesto. What is happening? I don't expect government to answer that question. Then you have to leave your position as the information minister Enter the party office and work and respond as a member of the NPP. You don't use government resources to answer a question for a political party. That's where we are confused. That is where we are confused. But I me, mean, I always say one thing. We press conference, we rebuttal, we the, the question is, the answer is simple. Let's just, we need the political parties, the presidential candidates to debate. Finished. Wow, to bro fool. Wow, PhD. Wow, I have green book. Wow, I have one district, one damo. Wow, I free SHSO. Yes, say. I grow on the form. We just need the presidential candidates to come on the stage and tell us off head that they know the issue. They are abreast of the issues. They know what policies can help the people. They know that if even they close their eyes, they can tell us their dream, their, their, what they want to have for us. That's all that we need. I don't care. I just want the presidential candidates to be on the platform to tell Ghanaians that I'm abreast of the issues. I, I am the leader. I call the shots. Not Ablakwa. So we need the leaders. These questions and these press conferences, they are good. But at the end of the day, who calls the shot? The person whose face is on the ballot calls the shot. We need the presidential candidates to be on the platform to tell us what they can do. If you can't do that, you don't deserve to lead. Simple. So, coming back to the issue, 
our journalism is so bad to the point whereby at this point every Ghanaian should be worried what you listen to and what you believe in what you listen to and what you believe in because from the carelessness of uh, multimedia opening might end up in jail if he doesn't have a good counsel if he doesn't build his case well this government could use that to prosecute opening but it, the, the signs are clear now ask the government after taking a footage from the streets from a, an, 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 an empty entity like multimedia using it as their base for taking people to court what have they gotten at the end of the day for four, almost four years the government has not been able to come out with a tangible, credible reason why they are charging opening with money laundering. Why? Political witch hunt. What kind of what what kind of what kind of country are we building? Do you think people living in the US, in Europe, Asia, who are Ghanaians, who have worked hard, they have learned a lot, they want to come and contribute to Ghana's development? Do you think when you see these kind of things, this kind of prosecution of Opuni and all the other ones and these kind of videos we are using as evidence as a whole country. Do you think these people will come and help Ghana? And this is the president who says, Ghana beyond aid. I am a leader. If I'm living somewhere else, I'm a professional like Opuni. I have my PhD. I have done work. I, have, I will never come and help Ghana because they could set me up the same way multimedia set Opuni up. And if you're watching me and you're wise, this is the time we have to Check these media houses because they have become the poison in the wine. We are expecting the media to be the people who are the watchdogs who tell Ghanaians that, hey, government is going too left. Government is going too right. Government, you are losing focus. Then Ghanaians, bring your voices the same way, you see. But today the media has become the second in command to the government. In any serious nation, multimedia should be closed down. It, it would have been closed down a long time. But this is where we are. So why don't you do so? So what? What the problem here is? It is emboldening other media houses to say things about people which are not true. That is why today we have somebody like Kennedy Japan hopping from radio to radio, maligning people. Chema won't me such a dumb ass walking around and saying things he doesn't know because he was fed in 2015 lies like the way they lied about Opuni being in court today. They believe in that because the media encouraged them, emboldened them to believe in the lies. That's what I'm telling you. If you're a young Ghanaian, a young Ghanaian who thinks about Ghana, it is very important to do your fact-checking. Whatever you hear, don't just swallow it. Verify it before you move forward. That's why when I produce documents, I keep telling Ghanaians, don't take my word. Go behind the scenes and do your fact-checking before you say Kevin Taylor got it right. I will never hide a document from anybody. We have to build a nation. We shouldn't build a nation with propaganda and lies and destroying people's career. Do you think if Opuni was at Kolebu or um, um, Konfanochi working today, do you know the number of people he would have saved? Their lives would have saved? This is a world-class surgeon. Why do we destroy our own? The media has become the poison in our wine. They are destroying this nation every single day. Today, you see media personal, they are, they are, they are personalities. Today, they look like zombies. The new radio opens, they all they go there. This one closes, they are flowing money. They don't know the job. They don't understand the job they are doing. You need to establish the job. You need to believe in what you do. It's not about the money. The money comes, comes in sometimes. But sometimes if you need to build a nation, you see, media remedials. Journalists are remedials. That is where we are today. And those who are still there working to, they have become so hypocritical to the point say the way they were was first, um, 2015, 16, today, and they are trying to defend the indefensible. If the government tells me he's going to give me water, clean portable water, and in my community, the water is not there, how do you sit on radio and interview a government official and not question him why the water is not there and that he has failed? And you sit there and encourage people like that. John Kuma has stolen money. I came out to give document. I dared Don, Don Kuma to come out after 72 hours to give us a counter document if I am lying. If any journalist like Obi of Asempa thinks about Ghana and not his stomach and his dirty journalism, he will tell Don Kuma, Don Kuma, you want to go to parliament? Respond to this. If it's a rumor, let us know it's a rumor. But if it's not a rumor and you have counter document that justifies that you are clean and want to enter parliament, provide that document. You sit at that dirty asempa to discredit me, Kevin Taylor. How dare you? How dare you? 
So the problem, in, in, what I'm talking about is all about the media. Let's be very careful. Let us be very, very careful. They are going to be spilling a lot of lies about people. Having two people checked, it's here, as some of here, as some particular one be bar, not the whole media is chewing it. As some be so bar, not they've all acted like they don't know what is happening. That is the danger of our media. That is the danger we are in today. Today, when it takes some people out of our politics, the media will not get work today. Let's take John Mahama out of our politics today. If John Mahama retires today, majority of the media men in Ghana will be out of job. Were you not here? Scandals upon scandals upon scandals. A vague airbus came. The whole media will be in the draw shade. I feel no be a diplomacy about. Yes, uh, I know this. When I went to school, that is the hypocrisy of our media. But crazy scandals hit PDS. Gabby Asura Chirakon led a group called Thriller in Manila. And an idiot like Obi sits on a sampai and say, can you verify? Verify your mother. And these people, we are supposed to be very cautious and very, very, very careful about them because they are vampires. They, they are eating the blood in our democracy. And when they finish the blood, we will all go down. It's a cold heart. Multimedia, they have, they have succeeded in destroying opening. How many people are they going to destroy coming in 2020? Today, they have set up another vampire station called Asase FM by Gabi Asari Chidako. Their main aim is to destroy their political opponents. NCA boss, he's going to the embarrassment. Old horses. It can't work. We have seized the social media sector. You cannot use those and then the bro. No, no, no. The people need the message. The message is the more. You give them the facts. You can't go and say that dirty thing and say, Asempa, we have no knowledge. No, 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 no. That's why I say no bagawaya. We are all the same. We are going to dialogue, talk about Ghana, and speak truth to power. It's not about your beautiful be be uh, studio. It's not about who you think you were. If you were where, then we are we, we are we today. So let's not slow down. Let's not let's not make some people take over the media space and throw in some 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 poisons to destroy people. We should not. In respect to her, your party might be in power to like the same way my party is in power. We are being defended by the criminal media, which sells anything to the people. Remember that tomorrow it might not be you in power, and that your uncle who was taking care of your mother and you will be in the position of companies. Trust me, you might not get anybody to save you. You might not. Multimedia should be shut down today. And uh, if no crew or Ghana and some multimedia in there, you can see it too. Yes. So can no crew or Ghana multimedia supposed to be shut down today? What is wrong with us as a people? No crew and Ghana be People's family have they, they've been broken. People's life have been all that they want to do for Ghana. Cobrado for opening Pakwisi Indum. Uh 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 the 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 uh lots of people. Why? It's all cooked by the media. And then the politicians who are who are more dangerous like than drag, dragons can't take it and then destroy people. One person to tell me one thing these people haven't done for Ghanaians. They were sustaining our, our country. Deliberately because out of politics, we destroy people. And the media, they have been used. Look at Paul Adamotri. He uses Good Evening Ghana to destroy people. Look at George, Paul Adamotri. When we were all young, Good Evening Ghana was the show that we all watched and told ourselves that this is where we want to be. Today, crutch, crutch, crutch. better. That is where we are because they can't defend propaganda again. They can't defend the indefensible. They can't defend lies. What do you do? You keep lying. You keep lying. I will have content every day because I speak the truth. I don't have to go back and think about what I said yesterday. It's because what I said yesterday was the truth. So I just have to keep moving. We have to get serious, my fellow Ghanaians. It is crazy. Some video somebody picked somewhere, destroyed people. See, let me tell you. I don't want to go into these things. When I, when I go into these things, what is happening at Cocoa Board? Somebody will think you are doing something. I will not do. I will do a separate scandal on Cocoa Board for people to see. 
for people to see at least and your cry for people to see it was when did we record a, a, a million tons of cocoa? Was well, during Tamil's time, during Muhammad's time, it was nine hundred and seventy something thousand. Who was then the head of cocoa board? Was Doctor Puni? Today, how many are we recording? Farmers, if we are for Bumbusom, the sale of Munya cocoa in Tia, you see, Doctor Puni got on cocoa at the end of you see our politics is dirty and it is stupid. Cocoa, no, it is in the market. People are buying it today. So, what do you have against the guy? And I'm not here to fight for Puni. No, it's his own problem. He needs to deal with it. But I want people to understand that we have quality people who think about Ghana. They want to work. We should not use the media to destroy people. We shouldn't do that. Multimedia, they have destroyed Puni. And I want to ask you, a young man, a young woman, if Puni was your father, how would you feel? And the other ones were destroyed. Some died because they did not have anybody to speak for them. They did not have any media out, media outlet to speak about their issue. Some have died. Some suffered stroke. Because the same media that was supposed to talk about the fact and go bring the fact out like what we are doing today will not do it because they are in the first place. They set you up. That is my problem. We have to get serious, my people. The journalists in Ghana are too filthy. They are so black-minded. They are destroying lives. They are destroying people's careers. And my worry is we are getting into the most difficult elections in our time. And these are the people these politicians will be using to destroy us, to tell us lies. Don't allow yourselves to be used like that. Don't. Ask them questions. Don't allow yourselves. They sit there, they feed them like chicken, and they ask very, very stupid questions. And what piece is like the John Kuma interview, OB interview John Kuma? You're asking him about when he was in primary school, uh, was he school prefect, and when his father Are you sick? This is a guy who wants to go to parliament. This is a guy, somebody has brought out a scandal against him. He has not responded. He has not responded. And this is the same person I'm saying that he has stole over 100 million. What is your first job as a journalist when you get such a person sitting in front of you who wants to go to parliament where it is dangerous because criminals don't make laws and you sit there and you ask him about Oko school way and adding some person to parliament? Are you are you are you are you nuts? What kind of country are we? That is why we have somebody like Canada Japan hopping radio to radio, re TV to TV because he knows the journalists are dumb, they are ignorant. They can ask him very intelligent questions. Somebody comes to tell you that he was used to drive taxi in the US and he was making three thousand dollars. Go on the internet, check how many, how much do you make in the in the nineties? How much was somebody making driving taxi? Because Jesus Christ, this is basic research. Goodness Lord, my people, go and research how much were taxi drivers making? That because nobody owns taxi drivers, taxi taxi in America. Trust me, majority of the taxis in America is owned by companies, and you work within time. If you pick the car at 12, you, you, you might be back at 4. There's a certain hours you have to work. You can't take the taxi. You see, these are basic things. Have you checked that? There's a time limit to drive. And this guy comes to tell you, in a week I make $3,000. And the journalist says, hey, you're are stupid. You're ignorant. Check. America taxi, how many hours? Do people own taxis? What will qualify somebody to own a taxi? How many are the taxi drivers? How who owns taxis? It's the same like the same day Gabby Becker said. Um, compare American nurses to nurses in Ghana because nurses in Ghana or frontline workers are not being patriotic by not doing what the Americans are doing. Gabby, you are dumb. Nurses in America are not employed by government. Nurses in America are employed by companies. They have private contracts with companies. That is why you don't see nurses on the street in America demonstrating about money. They have personal contract with private companies. When you finish your nursing school, companies you apply to, they are not government connected. Are you, are you, are you nuts? Government pay their companies. Their companies, they have a contract with them. This is, this is journalism 101. So, because they are fed on the ignorance of the people to the point where they know that we are fools. So, they will throw anything there and we will come out like chicken. The young ones come in. This is the time. This six, five, six months is very crucial. Very, very crucial in our history. 
And the only way we can save Ghana is fact checking and knowing the truth. Don't let anybody lie to you. Remember, we've been trying Fact checking, very important. That is why today the NDC fact check the MPP. You see the the hasty or the 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 the, the, the the, the, the rush in the press conference because if the NPP knew or know that they have better track record, we know that we have built a track record, they will even take a week and come back and say, you know what? All the things that MPP, NDC said, they're lying. This is what we have done. This is what we have done. This is what we have done. These are the pictures because the NDC were showing videos and pictures and showing statements from the players, the government, the president, the vice. So you take your time you go sit down, analyze their statement, and bring the facts and tell the people, go out there and check. The dams are there. Go there. The, the trust, you see, they're doing the daycare, journal, the daycare politics and they have added it to the journalism. And, ma, ma, you push not allow yourself to be treated like that. You shouldn't. This is 2020 for crying out loud. This is the year we had AY Polo, Puyo. This is the year we have um, 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 so many People popping up. This is the year you don't have to lose God. You're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. Um, I'm going to take a short break, then I'll start picking phone calls. The number to call is plus one two zero two seven five one eight seven six nine. Plus one two zero two seven five one eight seven six nine. Um stick and stay. I'll be right back after the short break. Hi, my name is Kevin Taylor, host of With All Due Respect. As you know, With All Due Respect has been self-produced for the past three years. We have not accepted any money or resources outside in order to maintain the integrity of the platform. We are an anti-corruption platform. Our work doesn't excite or encourage compromised stakeholders. That also means we cannot take funds from just anyone. As our platform grows, the need for increased quality of work and production requires increased resources during this election year and beyond. In order to maintain our anti-corruption stance and continue to speak for everyday people without clout or connections in higher places, we cannot rely on the same entities we critique for continually keeping their hands in the cookie jar to be the ones who keep our work going. In that view, I welcome your support and participation in keeping this work ongoing. This platform is for the people, so we think it is only right for the people to sustain it. Now, this is a simple thing you have to do. Just visit patreon.com slash with all your respect. Patreon.com slash with all your respect. Or click the link at the bottom of the video. For Ghanaians or our viewers in Ghana, we are putting together a Ghanaian payment processor on our website. Please, and please again, do not send any donation to any platform apart from patreon.com slash with all your respect or loudsilenceradio.com donation page. You can donate as low as $10. Yes, $10. And we have exciting packages for every level of donation, including one-on-one -on -one call with me, Kevin Ekobedu Taylor, access to some of the documents before they go live. You can also have dinner with me in Washington, D.C. to discuss the issues. But fellow Ghanaians, remember, it's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash with all your respect. All right, the number to call is plus one two zero two seven five one eight seven six nine. Plus one, two zero two seven five one eight seven six nine. Hello? Hello. The knock for Ghana bar. Auntie Monica. Ghana, Ghana say. Thank you very much, ma'am. Eh, but I'm in your Ghana, Mr. Afinia Yakata. Eh, where would the Austin Opaya not on you or Sunny Nile Dikana? What's the town or your Bessia? It's a Ghana, Mr. Afinia, or my Abra Boya or Sunna Odi or Sunny Nile when you can. More of what or Sunny Nile one who ban. Auntie Monica, hello, caller. Yeah, Kevin, what's up? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is Kasadov. Mm. You, what you are saying about 
the Ghanaians wanted to go back to Ghana and do something good for their country. I have a living testimony. Mm. My uncle for ILO, International Liberation Organization on the UN. I quite remember Rollins invite this my uncle, I don't want to mention his name, mm. to come Ghana and her. By then, Kwame Pepra was the finance minister. My uncle told me, we're going to Castle. I asked uncle, what was the reason? And he told me, I said, uncle, please, you have like eight houses in Ghana here. I manage them. I know these houses. If you come leave your ILO job and come to Ghana, by the end of running this government, don't be surprised. Ghanaians will be saying all kinds of things about you. So please, uncle, if this is the reason, I don't think it's good for you to do. And Papa is your personal friend. So my uncle looked at me and said, Richard, you are, what you are saying is true. So we went there and he stopped to run and said, look, this is a position I cannot take. Please, I will do anything to help my country, but with me, no. So what you are saying is really true. People, people destroy people without any, I mean, just because of social media or what the media says in Ghana. And it's wrong, especially if you are not, and I, let me, excuse me to use this language, if you're not a shanty, it's really difficult because all these media houses were owned by who? So to destroy other tribes is just easy for them. This Thank is enough. Awesome. Thank you. Have a wonderful have evening. Thank a you. Lot of, I need want to go home and do something good, but because of this reason. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. All right. Hello? 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 All right. Hello, caller? Hello? Hello? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Hello, uh, Kevin. Yes, sir. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's Gary from Paris. All right, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I always call you to uh, acknowledge your program that you are doing. You are, do, well, you are doing a very good job in such a way. I always pray that God should give you more strength to do more exposure for us so that maybe you can have a good uh, future for our country. Thank you very okay? much, sir. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. All right. That was um, some kind words. Thank you, sir. Hello, caller. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. Kevin. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We are dear papa, papa. and so the same new make us and be kakra with all due respect. Some can't send me from Obia and find chame. So, Oka said, and come for a year in Nipa Wagana. No, it is true. She said, Papa, how can I send up to now? That's what I caught on. It is true. We are. Save you, save you, save you with all due respect. It is only one part. It is only one culture. It is only one region. Talking about their mother, abusing their mother, their husbands, their children. You see, sorry. I mean, let me say it to you. Brother Baku Kasa and Santa Fuo. The accounts, you know, they are the problems in Ghana. They destroy themselves either. They hate each other. I don't know. I mean, they they abuse each other every day. Also, I mean, everyone. And somebody like Kennedy Japan was a Hotna Parliament. Obe ya adia papa di ama Ghana no. Also, I was see on a Ghana first. Ghana first. But he's also doing the same stupidity to destroy and destroy and destroy and destroy. Why? Is that the way to build a country? Hmm. Every day, if you be I mean, talking bad, bad, bad. I think I'm a person, maybe someone's a second. Is there any law? In Ghana oh, yeah. constitution, oh, yeah. about the median. Oh yeah, definitely there should be. Yeah. Yeah, but why can't the government take an 
a cushion on it. That's why, why that's can't why, they open that's this, why we have the, this for that book? That's why we have the NCA, the National... Um, uh, um, um, uh, yeah. But what are they doing there? We have the NMC too. Yeah. They should plus a lot of median. And let us have our peace in Ghana. Today we are talking about the year 2020, the election and the war and fight and fight. It is the same this median bringing the problem. Yeah. All the war, all over. I mean, the war of and to acquire many now, we are some millions, millions in Edin to acquire by media in Edin to acquire by. All right, sir. Media in Edin to acquire by the whole world. And Italy, they should do something about these people. All right, people. all right. They should have a terrible house. Thank you, sir. I mean, only one part of Ghana, I mean, are you better than me? That is half our peace, man. Enough right, is sir. enough right. now. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Thank you for submission. That was his um, opinion. Hello? Hello? All right, let's do this. Hello? Whoa. Hello? Hello, Mr. Kevin. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Kevin, this is Wap from Kasua. Thank you, sir. Mr. Kevin, your mom painted that John Draman, Mama Michel, will be PPR. I will be president of the president, Papa. I will be the president of the president. I will be the president of the president. Yachini Pana and Timmy Fawin shall say Nibano or no, we are not so heavy. The organ, I have no been better than I read you soon. TV so I said, Your mamma and Amia, a Tamis, a poor Buno Kuno, Yanko Chubi Biara, by a net notorious president, that is an anacopad of Meren Yijima, who could cast them tea and a pet, they are two alco baby. And I'm for Munya day. I am a Pajo, a Juma man who held minister. My page book no have a page in order no. <laughs> but that twenty six. Mr. Kevin, can you pay the order? So I say she the order. I I think when she is there, no doubt on them no mystery me be so. Ya sure generator will feel in a hospital or no ma. I born and from my I man. Order twenty six twenty seven. Order twenty six twenty seven. Or six or six pay generators no one will operate. So we the any coupon to me. So man she ya sebe umma kwa jiska akwa jibusia yene ye babe chia that ye kura no babe chia no much is can easy. Yari any betu omu bakum 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 a you muni ne fi or many mu thank you both and then na seven no mudi boy. I mean sure. All right, okay, that yeah. was his opinion. Hello? Yeah. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, Kevin, very prosper. Thanks for picking my phone. All right, sir. Um, uh, I would like to ask if you could put some time or intervene in our questions that a lot of people want to talk. Okay. So you, you, you can, if you can please time our uh, um, conversation All so right. that um, you give a second. All right. 20 seconds to be now. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Okay. So now let's try and do within 30 seconds so that people can also come through uh, as the caller was saying. I keep saying this, but you know, hmm. Hello, caller. Hello? Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Mr. Kevin. Yes, sir. This is Eric from Germany. Go ahead, sir. But I know you see where we see of free. Now, boy, be a corruption in a dear. Corruption in Nandia, who can in Yanano, an interesting but of we know now or no odia kiss you. And I will be saying, say, near man, you know, we are Magana, you know, oh, she says, how of we know, it's in per se, which a finance, much as it, much as it, much as it. And I second will say, well done, because Kennedy at Japan were confirming the bag and was a man who can. Confirm it. Let me show you. Ofui. Ofui, Obi Awabro, a Yizu. Ofui, Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, good evening. This is Kamal Dean from Pagagana. All right. Oh, nice to, In to, fact, to hear from you. In fact, 
So what, what is he just doing to us? Mm. Nothing is going on in the plan. If you want to talk to problems everywhere. Oh, this health minister was on the TV telling us, <clears throat> oh, coronavirus, everybody should be calm, everybody should be calm. Now he himself is lying there. Look, this disease, this, this virus, they are just, they are just, I don't know. They are just taking us for granted with this virus. Taking money outside all the time, but still we don't see any progress in Ghana. Our numbers keep on increasing. What is happening to us? Thank you very much, sir. Thank, thanks very much for a good work All done. Right, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your time, too. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Is it Lao Silence? Yeah, this is Lao Silence. This is Kevin. You're speaking to Kevin. You're live. Go ahead, sir. Hey, Kevin, how are you doing today? Great, sir. So you see, all these things you have been talking about, Kennedy, Japan, the expose you want to bring out because of her daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of his daughter. You see that? He has quickly, yeah. he has quickly come out to, 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 to put it out there. But I think it's smart. But one thing, one thing I want the NDC should do, now that they are doing this expose on the MPP, I want them to come and sit down and tell us what exactly, what exactly they're going to be doing when they come in power. Mm. Because it's the same thing the NDC said. The NDC said, oh, the NDC are doing this. The NDC are stealing money. The NDC are doing that. When they come, they're going to jail people. They're going to, they're going to prosecute people. Up to now, they've not been able to prosecute anybody. You see? Mm. Now, if NDC can, we all see the, we all see the scandals that is going on. Mm. We all see the corruption that is going on. Now, we want the NDC to come and assure we, the people, that if we vote to them or if we, we bring them back in power, are they going to prosecute these people? Are they going to jail these, these people? Or are they also going to come back there and then it's going to be another four years without jailing anybody? That's because there has been a lot of, there have been a lot of scandal that have went on. There have been a lot of corruption that have went on, which they've been talking about it and everything. And we've not, since, since government have been coming, we've not seen anybody jailing, jailing opponents, I mean, or, uh, uh, other parties, uh, 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 ministers, or something. Yeah. You see, so we want the NDC. If they want power, or if we give them power, they should just come and I show. I like today the way they did a press conference mm-hmm. talking about the manifesto and talking about the uh, MPP things that he said and things that he did. They, they, they did not do and stuff. They should come and tell us, hey, people, if we come to power, we will make sure all these scandals that went on during the MPP time, or all this corruption that went on during the MPP time. We we'll make sure everybody go to jail. Great. That is that we should trust them, and if they give, if we give them power, they're going to do that, and then we're going to hold them accountable when they come power. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I think um, your 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 point is well made. Hello, 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 hello. All right. Let's see this. Um, hello, caller. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, you got you're live, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. All right. Um, hello, caller. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, uh, sir. Uh, Go uh, ahead. Good evening, yeah. Doctor Sri Boyin Chelu. Mm-hmm. Or purchase a registration there, then see you will require a wound to any transfer. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll be registered. Yeah. Find it so to up. Yeah. Now, I won't mean yet. I feel the answer now every four years. You're talking about it to me. You're transferred. Now, I said, you're going to be a year transfer. Won't you mean you're transferred? Was it 12 months before the election time? Won't you mean you're transferred? No, won't you mean you're going to be a registration 12 months before the election time? Mean to ask them, mean to feel you. You're going to be a year. That's it. You're going to be a year. Okay. All right. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I'm calling from uh, Connecticut. My All name right. is uh, Steve. All right. Uh, I have a, uh, a expose that I wanted to give it to uh, Kevin. You have an expose, right? Yes. Okay. Um, it's, it's my body, man. I got that expose. Remember when he thought about uh, sharing the car to Ghana? Yeah. Okay. I did went to Ghana. I did. I did. Uh, the Ghana card, but uh, when I went back to pick up the card, they told me the card wasn't ready, mm. so I left. And then my cousin went and got a card for me uh, yesterday. <laughs> without, without, without verification, nothing. Nothing. So I, I, I wanted to send it to him so he can move it to people. 
yeah. that's what is going on. It's and crazy. I, I when I go to Ghana, I'm going to hold up the card. You are in the I U.S. and card. somebody went to take your card for you, but you are in the U.S. Yes, I'm in the U.S. right now. You have the receipt here in the U.S. All right, sir. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we um, <laughs> we're gonna. Yes. We, let's let's I'll talk say, about I'll this. Say, I'll say, uh, the picture, yeah, send I'll it to loudsilenceradio.com. Loudsilenceradio.com. Sir, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So he's in Yankee. He's Yankee. We. I know. We are It's a funny thing. Right? Hello, caller. I think this, this is gonna be my last caller of the day. Hello, caller. Good evening, Kevin. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, good, sir. How are you? My name is Amon. I'm calling from Italy. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, good. I'm say one more time, and that's my friend, you'll be in the more customer. Now, seriously, a good uh, word government. I'm say a mess government. I see a ticket. One more time, I'm a boy Ghana in anything. Me would be in Chaganias. That's a good sample for me. Because some of them are messing up totally. And please uh, give me small time. Let me cut on to or three be a war. Yeah, or bus or bus is here. Your friend or say for Nobel or Melvin. Your punish will be be and your fools in your Jimmy for at the same one and you share our platform with us. Young is sure I have not done any night. The same could put to say warm. And you tell me, I'm not sure if YouTube and our or Facebook. Facebook, I'm not Okay, Kasa. Facebook. Facebook, yeah. What do you want to work? Can some time, 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 That's why we mean business over here. Therefore, my own funny Jimmy, you know, sub sub in previous time. Eh? And my message, baby, papa, be a year, you need a break. Oh, yeah, sub in previous time. Sub sub in previous time. Yeah. All right, thank you. If I were him, uh, me some time ago, uh, often they say media station and be three power Ghana power Adam. You go to a time when me who say I don't for any kind of crap. Omo any kind of crap. Omo be biased now because of me meeting my wife. No on three Adam on the time now for can say I don't for any professionals because of me meeting or be three Adam. But now, me who say one more and professionals, one more and can of crew, me buy us there for me to be. And to say, idiot, this guy, no, we are still men, son, ma or masubi, and mommy, to the one I said, you, the team, 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 Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You are the last caller. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, this is Vincent Gaono from New York. Mm. Uh, today, your program is very, very superb. Thank you, sir. It's very well. Things are going well now. Uh, all the points that you have raised, you have done a very good things for Mother Ghana. You see, Ghanaians, some of the people, they don't tell the truth. I feel so sad about these people occupy Ghana, mm. who are so vocal for us about Mahama administration. Even last year, there was a man called Kofi Bentel. Maybe you know him. They normally come to oh, the yeah, Kofi Bentel is with Imani. Yeah. Yeah. They were discussing about UGM hospital, Bank of Ghana hospital. This man Claim that, oh, Ghana doesn't need those kind of hospitals. Oh, you really? See, you see, this pandemic, this pandemic came on the right time. Ghanaians should learn something. Ghanaians should learn something. Now, which hospital that, that is serving those uh, uh, NPP, uh, he, even the, uh, 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 the health minister even claimed that UGM for the uh, executive. Yeah, he said for the executive. He went there. He was the first person to win there, to go there. You see, God will punish these people. They don't tell the truth. They don't tell the truth. What All is right, Kofi so. Bethel now? Yeah, we will take care of it. <laughs> it's helping Ghana to fight for this pandemic. 
Thank some, you, some of them, they are so stupid. They are so stupid. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah. Um, hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Kevin. Mm-hmm. Oh, my last brother, my brother. Oh, last cry, yeah. Uh, maybe so. Uh, let me say, calling, uh, calling time you know, for mm. listeners. You know. mm. uh, uh, how many minutes are you already <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Sometimes, you know, oh, it's a conversation, you know. Maybe sometimes, uh, you, you, yeah. you, you don't want to be rude. Sometimes, we'll be making the point, or make it, yeah, you know. And, and, no, 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 no. And yet, and yet, you back, like, generally, like, oh, yeah. you're showing you, you're not supposed to start to pick a course. Oh, how many minutes do you usually, uh, like, assign to us? 20 minutes. Because then, sometimes, 15. Yeah, I'm going to be producer, catch up, I'm going to and come over to me, move it to me. All right, Matthew. Come on, Monsieur, Monsieur, my and Catra. All right. Now, my main woman, come on, some Catra. All right. Thank you, first of all, thank you for everything that you, you, you're doing for Mother Ghana. Um, oh, yeah, right, dear Pa. Um, uh, I think you are the bands, you know, we are check here. You always stick to the fact, you know, you stick to the truth. And that is what our journalists in Ghana know. That's what they all supposed to do. Then, so uh, unfortunately, you know, majority in the side, you know. Me, of course, we're going on one. I say, that percentage now can be a can be the point. The man going on in Kofu be so much Jimmy, no. Like oh, sure, I know. I know. I I send back a or can me me then he has Jimmy. And I also so I own. So we have a lot of a lot of in Kofu no more doors in Ghana. And unfortunately, you know, they have they have the platform. Well, mm. they have you a Jimmy for no doors. They 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 have the loudest voice. And now one more, almost Sebi, almost Nimi, and so almost 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 Kanokra, and almost Penokra. They don't have the platform. Mm. Platform can come on. So no, the the wickedness of this uh, 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 this government. Um 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 to shut them up. Only I mentioned, mm. like as some are SCCA, a year doctor opony, and a multimedia groupie. Mm. Fair, I can bet my last dime, my last, my very bottom last dime on it. Fair, Anka, a year, those, uh, friends, the uh, friends, and media platforms are almost penocre, almost canocre, and a coy year sound from so, from so be say, and I am fine to say, yeah, some, some Ghanaian celebrity be, ah, uh, uh, or yes, sympathetic yeah. to NDC. Uh, uh, Miss Bear, well, and a co host program this state. And uh, 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 um, uh, like, um, uh, the RSA, you know, uh, throw our bad life, a big part of our. When you mean Juman Kagana for DBD, Miss Bear or Ghana? And Kaumbe, they will call for her head, they will make sure they send her to jail. Mm. And uh, all the, uh, the platform I call it, I mean, multimedia, if it was, and they will. NCA, NCA for it. They will stand on this. Almost find trouble. That they will stand on this and close them up. Well, then so I quite question if people or microphobia or Ghana. Well, one more, one more year they are superhuman. One more year, ni pasi ni pebiya and one more year, one more year they will say they are the poor, they are they are the bonyo, they are Ghana for you know just some. Well, they are they are untouchable. They feel so so. Me to me, well. That is why Ghana, anything in Ghana, 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. that's why Ghana yes, is no more. Thank you very much, sir. Well, there's so much double standard. The xenophobia, like a man, be or what? They they set up the bar, like the, the the bar is so high. Yeah. Once these people come in, the bar is lower to the minimum level. Like anything goes. Yeah. Well, All right, I'm sir. Sure. I mean, sure. Thank yeah, you very until, much. Until say, until say, you be you be you be spend no crack coin. Ah, so we are going to cost what, Mister Leo, Kevin, we are going to ban because cost are not crop food. Yeah, I know. Crop food is super, 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 super. And see, Mister Minister, Mister Makasa, Makasa, Mister Makasa, thank you for giving me the right, platform. Sir. God bless you God bless so you much too. for everything. Banda Ghana, thank you. All right. Okay, so that that was the last caller. I'm not taking any more calls again. Uh, after this show, short break, um, I'll just come and wrap up. Uh, as I said. The national constitution provides for just two terms. You win one term like we won 2000. We stay in power four years. Then we have to go back to the people. Uh, the people give you a chance as president. You come in for another four years. 2008, you are finished. The state will thank you and say, sit aside. 
just go off the field and allow another person to come in. So the party along this year will have to find a successor to Kufo to use as candidates. But I'm telling you already, because of the good work and good role we have built, uh, we have al already about 50% of the vote we need to go back to power. We put it aside. As our, uh, we are going to challenge our opponents for the next issue. But what we have to be careful about is that even as we search for a successor, we must look for somebody who will continue to hold the party together. We mustn't go in for anybody who will divide us. Because we by ourselves alone cannot get all the votes we need. All NPP, true NPP people will vote for us. But then we, I don't think we'll make the 50% plus one vote to win at one touch. This is why we need to stay together so that it will be attractive to draw other people to join us to go beyond the absolute majority. So anybody... That was President um, um, Kofor and um, some white sayings there. So, yes, it's been great having you on the show today. Uh, I know today I couldn't say hello to the family. Let me see if I can read one or two messages because to make up for not saying hello to the family. Today's show was packed, so I had to quickly um, run through a lot of things. Um, Patrick Ngetia said, NPP think they are smart. They've hit, they, they, they have hired Dr. Baumia, the comedian, because Ghanaians have seen their tricks. And now it's a turn of Kujo Ponkruma. The professional liar. Patrick Gittier's opinion. Um, Hassan, um, Sunkwa say good um, work, Kevin. Taylor for good work and insightful presentation. Thank you very much, sir. Abu Akari Usman says uh, he's replying to somebody. Uh, okay, somebody's having some adverts on our platform. Abdul Salam uh, Alhaj Mahan Sagnarugu says, Kevin, you have forgotten that the real owners of Ghana uh, are in government now. Um, if any media house dares them, especially um, the opposition media houses, they will sh be shut down. Where is Manazar Azori now? Is it not because he's on their heels that they have sent him to exile? We are only praying that the almighty Allah will save us from these wicked cocaine dealers and Medros government. Abdul Salam, um, peace of mind. Um, who is also speaking on Facebook? Um, Alabosco Alabosco say Kufuado, the importer of coronavirus to Ghana is a very wicked and disgraceful president ever in the history of Ghana. Alabosco Alabosco. Nana of Kujo says he was replying to somebody. Um, Richard New will say multimedia was one or uh, that one that brought NPP uh, the evil party into power. Okay. Um, Eric Echo O2 says for that case, um, they want NDC to come. Um, and if they discontinue the case, they will say Upuni is corrupt. It is um, it his party which has set him free. Okay, that is also another point. Um, Bansa Kwesi says the media is really making NPP feels like feel like they are really performing. Meanwhile, they are bringing the country down. Um, we must kick this government out. That's the opinion of Bansa Kwesi on Facebook. Laura Jones says um, prosperity prosperity posterity will judge multimedia staff they will have no they will have no no peace and their descendants will suffer okay uh mensa jonas michaels i'm listening to you from nigeria keep the fire burning thank you very much mensa jonas um nana if you could be mensa bones is kevin may god bless you may god bless you too nana if um vida kofi says uh, that's their problem god will all things are possible vida kofi's opinion Shaibu Ali says is, is replying to somebody. Lydia Akam, she is the class prefect here on um the in the in the French class. She, she, she says they are just lying to destroy people. They can't never match. Unfortunately, as soon as the good ones join, they start to destroy people. They can't, they can never match. Lydia Akam, she is a class prefect when it comes to the French class on Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. Some sheriff says, Kevin, I hope you keep this good work forever, even when the party NDC comes to power. We are with you, Kevin. Respect, respect to you, my friend. Sam. Have a wonderful evening. Atima Andy says the media is like a branch of the NPP. It's just like the Supreme Court. Atima Andy's opinion. Collins Arthur says, Thank you for the good work you're doing. Oh Madagana, keep it up. And we are behind you. Thank you very much, Collins. Um, Risky Joe says, I pray God make the health minister suffer because he is evil and a liar. That is his opinion. Um, William Shandov. William Shandov says, In the wisdom of John Mahama, put up the judge factory at Adeso, the jute factory at Adeso 
for manufacturing of cocoa bags. The Gufuado just show as one achievement in your four years. Um, Peter Paradise is clapping and clapping. Peter Paradise, how are you doing? Ayalga, Michael says, Ayagli, Michael says, great work. Mahama crime is that he is a northerner. Hypocrisy in Ghana is too much. Truth is becoming extinct. Thank you very much, sir. Um, uh, I have the married five years old. Okay, somebody sharing some testimonies here. Hey, Edio. Okay, Ibrahim Odati says, if not Kevin Taylor, Kennedy Japan would treat university students like latrine boys. Uh, Socrates, um, um, Socrates Cicero uh, is replying to someone. Doreen is also here. Sadufia Lucky says, Kevin Taylor, Kevin, your head is full of knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You are too much. Thank you very much. So, so Sadufia. Um, Husband Emmanuel Saki says, Anna said he will bring new expose on Kennedy. Uh, cocaine and anakufuado and all that okay let's go on youtube and read a few messages and then we can shut this shop down today okay on youtube is blazing um who is here on youtube um um francis senor um yaokuma says adam tv all that they know is kunkumbaja uh not their useless programs okay Kobina Bwati, Mr. Kola, not now. We don't want the NPP to steal our ideas. Patrick Ingetia, God will strike uh, this NPP. Okay, Danny Danny says, come on, Kola. There is no time for us. Patrick Ingetia is back again. Um, this is happening on YouTube. On YouTube, Ellen Sekudu says, some Ghanaians don't think at all. Ellen is back again. Who is your Francis Senor? Um, says, is the health minister resting in the green book? I can't think fast. Sadia Mohammed, Kevin, you need to talk to Kumasi people to change their ways. Mm -hmm. Zach Hassan says, Kevin, um, you really truthful person. I already know Ken is a criminal and very big hypocrite and pretender. To be honest, to you, Ghana political politics is so bad because of people like Kennedy and Abronye. Okay, that's his opinion. Um, Nana Akusia says Opuni worked very hard at Coco Board, and yet the NPP uh, determined uh, is determined to destroy this good man. That is her opinion. Francis Senyoko, is, is it true that Abronya DC is uh, practicing law? <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, Ike Laser says politicians are committing atrocities in the name of sacrifice. Huh. Stephen Ousu Yabua say, May God richly bless you, Kevin. I'm watching you live from Falaboa, South Africa. Falaboa. Mm. All right. Okay. So that's it um, for the show. Thank you very much for being part of the show. I keep saying that I really appreciate your time. I thank you guys very much for taking two hours of your time to spend um, that two hours with me. We really appreciate it. That's why we call you guys family. We don't call you listeners or viewers. We call you family because you've been there for us and you're still there for us today. I love you guys and I know everybody will do their little part to make sure that we push Ghana to the level that we want. We should all, all be citizens and not spectators. We should also be messengers. I keep saying we should all be messengers. Messengers who are ready and willing to speak truth to power. Messengers who are ready to speak truth to power. I love you guys and I know you guys also love me back. Have a wonderful night. Today is a Monday. Tomorrow we're going to be here 4 p.m. U.S. time, 8 p.m. Ghana time. We will be talking about Ghana, dissecting the issues, not mincing words, and making sure truth is spoken to power. Good evening. As leader of the NDC, I wish to serve notice that we shall do all our part to ensure that our country remains peaceful and that the electoral process proceeds smoothly. But and a big but. Let nobody assume that we will accept the results of a flawed election. And I can say that, yeah, I, I, can, I can butterize my, my point to say that uh, former President Mahama has been rotting in the corruption to the core, you know, and now he's alive. This, this, this is why, you know, and even still he has been corrupted or still uh, or done something bad to the country. He don't want to say it. He don't want to explain it to to the country. You know, he thinks, you know, uh, uh, but it wasn't like that. Some of the head of states like you has been, has been killed. You know, he has been killed for us, you know, for the country to grow to this level. For the genesis of our democracy, 
you know, for the for, for the genesis of our democracy, uh, from AFRC to Third, uh, 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 Third Republic, Third Republic. You know, from uh, PNDC to Fourth Republic, it's a rolling stone. Jimmy and people for Jimmy, me who be stupid people. I don't know why I belong to that political party. The national security. In some polling stations, but in all, almost all the polling stations, you either had the police and the Ghana Immigration Service, and in a few we found that they had, you know, staff of the national security as well. And these gentlemen said to be from the national security, were you told why they were present? No, we were not told why they were present, but they were not, they, I may have to add here that they were ordinarily clothed and they were not armed there are reports of persons purported to have come from the national security who were actually armed at some police stations are you aware of that not at all from the reports we have received from our field officers who were monitoring there were no armed security personnel at any of the 137 polling stations. There are also reports of intimidating presence of certain masked men in black and brown uniform who were wielding arms in some of the polling stations. Are you aware? There were no, no masked men who were wielding arms in any of the 137 polling stations. All our reports that have come in and the monitors who have monitored, including members of the commission, did not identify any of these armed masked men at any of the 137 polling stations. Are you saying that you have actually investigated and you can confirm that yes. of the truth there were no masked men at any of the police stations is that what you're saying yes now you said you have cited the Kodeo report yes. that report makes it very clear that there were masked armed men at some police stations what do you have to say about I still stand by, you know, the reports we have received that there were no masked armed men at any of the polling stations. If you remove the role of the Achim people from the history of this country, you have